hi. Hypothetically, we're live. Uh, we welcome, refresh. welcome to Skies of Arcadia Part Four. Uh, nothing went wrong, and this is our first time setting up the stream. There are no other streams. Great. Yep. Um, so, uh, it's another pirate day for Jello. We're starting this. Uh, I see we got a super chat from Nom Nom Freshman, our favorite extremely rich friend who loves to give all of us money. <laughs> um, uh, thank you. If anyone else wants to give us money, I recommend doing it on the Patreon link, which there it is. Uh, Whoa! it literally just Whoa! got pinned as I said that cause Aloha is amazing at this. Uh, after this stream, we're going to be doing another pirate-related thing. We're doing a One Piece reading book club, but uh, I'm excited for this session because unlike the last two where I was trying to skip a bunch of things, uh, I, I have just lists of like which save state to load in what order, and this mm. one is like, play everything for two hours <laughs> because... Oh. Everything in this section is really interesting and cool, <laughs> so... Oh, that's oh. good to hear. You love to hear it. Um, oh, great, great question from chat. What's your favorite swear word? No, no. <laughs> well, I already feel bad. I, I don't worry. I'm, I'm at max bum about what I, how this, uh, how this started. Max bum, <gasps> a new swear. <laughs> no, please. Wait, max. I can kind of answer this while, while dodging it. So, I have little siblings. So, growing up, I obviously couldn't swear around the house when I was a teenager. So my favorite alternative was, oh, you freaking banana bean. <laughs> you banana bean. It's, it's such a yam response. Okay, here we go. We're going yep. back. Last time we got the red and green crystals, we're going back to Value looking for the yellow one. Here we go. Looks like we've reached Value in airspace. Already a patron, t patron, take more money. Thanks, Jay. Um, so this is where the yellow crystal is hidden, right? Uh, today, uh, exciting news. We're going to be meeting all six of our party members in this session. Wow. Six. Uh, so I'm just going to assign you now. Um, government assigned. Because who, they're... <laughs> yeah, who gets gover... to be Ica today? <laughs> who gets to be Ica today? Let me think. Uh, Will has to be Drachma today. I'm going to... I'm going to at first assign Aram to Ica. Mm -hmm. Fina to Yam, me to Vice. Uh, and then we'll swap around very quickly, and I'll let you know. Uh, Savvy, oh, as per usual, you're you're gonna be everybody we talk to for the first twenty minutes. Thumbs up. All right. We going? Yes. Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these lands, along with the yellow gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the Valuans already, we should be extra careful, right, Captain? Hmm. Care. I'm fine dying. Captain, what's wrong? Ah, oh, um, nothing. I'm sorry, um, were you saying something? Nothing really. It wasn't anything important. Oh, nice Who is changed. that guy? Is that all muscle, or do you have kind of a beer gut? It's oh, like I'm pregnant. Both. You know, you have some... Both. Some people have a six pack. I got a keg. What do you want about it? I'm, I'm eating for two. <laughs> fun, fun fact: uh, If you see someone who's like who works out who has a six pack versus someone who works out who has like a, a big belly, that the the second guy is probably the stronger one. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're training for actual strength, you do not get a six pack. <laughs> oh, good. I already have the white map. That prevents enemy. Oh, good. I, I was afraid I didn't have a six pack, but now I know it's okay. It <laughs> it looks like a it 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 lowers enemy encounters, but not enough. So, Shade always so does. <laughs> so does having a six pack. Yo, it's it's Scorpion. Scorpion. Oh, he, how's it going? Oh, you know, it's Scorpion. Oh come on! If it oh, were whatever, if it weren't like one letter too long, Scorpon would definitely be the name of a random enemy in uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Scorpon yeah. the third, Cipher Grunt, Scorpon, Trudley, Eon <laughs> Trudley. I don't wanna. I hardly know him. 
Do you think peon trudley counts as a swear if we use it in that context? We're past 30 seconds, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Uh, now we can talk about pee all we want. Our usual I mean, activity. I know we've been desperate to talk about pee. <laughs> that chunk of metal is huge. Be nice to me, oh. <laughs> Beneath it is the Maw of Tartus. It is an entrance to a series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the Yellow Crystal, as well as the Yellow Gigas. The seal was built by my people after the Reigns of Destruction in order to contain the Yellow Gigas. Now the Yellow Gigas lies dormant. Good. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gigas can't get out, but it also means that we can't get in. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we can get through this seal. What should we do? I don't know. That's you, Savvy. Mm-hmm. The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death! Sorry, I was they, on they, a different screen. <laughs> when they got straight to this place, I was like, yep, this is where the Yellow Gigas is. I was like, man, imagine if the value arc in this game was just, oh yeah, it's right here, and they just get it and leave. I mean, nothing <laughs> happened. That would be extremely funny. Mm, doing dang, math. Dang. I can't wait to see who we'll be up against in this arc, whether we're gonna get, like, further appearance from, like, people outside the evil conference table, like, if we're gonna get more Galcian, more Empress, more what's-his-face, the Empress's son, or if, uh, if we're gonna keep cycling through Admirals, in which case we're either getting the old guy or the frat boy, the Chad. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Or we could just get Beleza again. She's, she's I, I will tell you, you do encounter all the admirals at least twice. That's good. Oh. One thing that I didn't realize until a decent while after I had finished the game, but that I always thought was really nice, Tales of the Abyss has six... They're called the God Generals, but, you know, the six Bushido blasters, like, who are all subordinate to the main antagonist. Uh, except for one of them is just straight up not an antagonist. You don't fight him. But, um, of the other five, you fight each of them exactly once in each of the game's three acts. Uh, and sometimes in combination, sometimes by themselves. It's kind of neat. We, we surrender. Please don't kill us. Tell us how to open the seal, and we'll let you live. Orf, orf? Orf? Oh, you just give him a fish. That's impossible. Our entire <laughs> There's army no fish in it. the world. Our commanders aren't concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already in value, and it's safe from you. It's obviously not hmm. safe from us. That makes sense. They'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think that this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? I ate them! <laughs> They're preparing for the raid on Nasrad. What? Value was going to start a war with Nasir? Uh, I think so. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. You think they'd put, like... Like, I know it's gotta be a boring job, but you think they'd put some higher levels than just a grunt guarding the seal to their moon crystal, right? Yeah, especially after I... two have been destroyed. Oh, we I didn't destroy figured... them. <laughs> I guess they figured they don't need to put too much manpower since they can't even figure out how to open it. So they're like, oh, well, anyone who stumbles yeah. by it probably able to figure it out either. Hmm. There was a giant orc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant orc whale? Arc. Rocknum is here. Answer me. I, I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday and there's... There were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rockham. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time, but now it's your turn to follow me. Well, doesn't look like we'll be able to get to the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma, we'll go with you. Very well. Now the time has come for me to finally face Rockham. <sighs> He was the reason I got the harpoon cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him. Or die trying. Sometimes the cool pirate option is not obvious, and then sometimes they'll give you one like, Yeah, let's go after it, or I'm scared. 
<laughs> oh no, it is always really sad. Oh, I'm so scared. I want to go home and hug my pillow. Oh, oh. I want to go home and hug my still living parents. <laughs> we'll need to rest up before we attack Rockham. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky and they never see him a coming. They, they never see him a coming. Uh, <laughs> uh. Hard in this canyon and ambush him at the first sign of fog. Tonight, we sleep here. Drop anchor, girl. They never see it coming. You know see. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to even get a wink of sleep. <laughs> Typecast. <laughs> Rocked him. <laughs> Rockton is nearby. That's all I could think as I lie there trying to sleep. In my terrible little hammock. It doesn't Aww. look like I'm gonna get any shut eye. Maybe I'll take a little walk to try and calm myself down. Oh, it's so short. Gotta, gotta talk to all your party members on the airship before it'll land at the next city. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Vice suddenly so invested in Rockton? He doesn't really care. He's just nervous. Well, I mean, it did it did blow up his boat once, so I think it makes sense he'd be scared of it. This is the captain's room, but I don't hear him snoring like usual. Wonder if he's awake. Captain, Captain, it's Vice. You awake? There's no response. Wonder where he is. You, you go out on deck. He's half transformed into a big purple arc whale. <laughs> don't look at me. Whenever the full moon is out, I turn into a whale. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whenever I cry, it's drunk my balls. <laughs> what? Hmm. That took me a second, but I appreciate it. Captain? Is that you, girl? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. What's that? My smokes. Hmm. Open it. It's Rocknum. <laughs> I had a shrink ray. Wow. <laughs> I was watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and I thought, I could do that. It's full of... feathers. My son collects... used to collect those. You had a son? I... about the same age as you. A long time ago, I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come out with us. His name was... Jack. Little he Jack! Was... <laughs> he was a small boy. He liked to help out. The other sailors, they used to call him Little Jack. Now, what I mean is he was two inches tall. Those feathers were his sword. <laughs> I need Jack. One day, we went out fishing as usual. Then Rocknum came. We didn't know how powerful Rocknum was. And we tried to find him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Rockdom destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew and Jack weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell. What did stop him from falling? Oh, man. I can still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day on, I swore revenge on Rockdom for my crew. And for Jack, I need to kill Rockdom to avenge my crew and my son. <laughs> uh, I'm getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain. Uh, this fog, could it be... Girl, go wake the others. It's him. Rocknum is here. God damn. 
Skies of Arcadia is a good video game. Yeah. Man, that uh, that line about hoping the feathers would stop him from falling yeah. is such a bummer line. That's a good line, but yeah, damn. Rock them, sock them, robots. Here we go. What's that sound? Sounds like it came... It sounds like it came from cannon fire. <laughs> Go, dead ahead. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> Captain! Oh, it's him. Man, that thing is really big. Okay. Oh, holy... oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. It, it's huge. Its forehead is a revolver. <laughs> Did you notice its forehead? Hey, look over there. I noticed that it has six things that you might put gems in, perhaps. Mm, wrong. No? Oh, okay. That's a good guess, though. You just put uh, six big pieces of penne pasta in there. Oh, wow! That's weird. I got this fucking tickle in my throat. I'm going to mute while I'm coming. <laughs> Me when I use Mencino in Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, <laughs> whose ship is that? While we were in Valua, I heard rumors that Armada altered their chain of command. That must be Ramirez's ship. He was Gelsia's vice captain. He's the most feared officer in the Armada. Ramirez. Nina, what's wrong? Nothing. Uh, Everything's fine. Bluff two. Also, Yam, you're getting eaten again. Oh no! I remember it? him having a similar <laughs> hair tone. Is he like her secret brother or another another Sylvite? Who can say? Ooh. Who can say? We'll we'll, we'll we'll find out by the end of this sitting. Um, when he dies to rock him immediately. <laughs> Ooh. We can't fight them both at the same time. Captain, what should we do? Take out the value in ships first. I don't want them interfering in their fight with Rockdom. Well, I need to kill Rockdom myself. I mean, we could like maybe let them weaken him a little bit before- No, I've got to do it myself. Battle stations, leave Ramirez's ship alone. Take out the two cruisers in front of us first. Dun, dun, I, <laughs> I was trying to like imagine a scenario to joke about of like Ramirez dying to rock them in the exact same way. Like, but I was like, well, what would he be clutching at instead of feathers? And I just imagine him having one of those little propeller beanies. It's like <laughs> he was clutching it as if it would stop him from falling. <laughs> yeah, you forgot to put it on his head. It's just a normal guy. Uh, you'll regret the day you d you will blow uh, you we, up. We cannot see what is what is going on. I didn't even change I the can, window yet. I can see. I can't. I mean, it, hasn't, it hasn't loaded yet, but yeah, there it is. Uh, Still okay, needs no sound. sound. You love whatever this thing's problem is. Anyway, we blew hey. up the first ship. Is oh yeah. Seamless for chat. Yeah. All right, we got a straight shot at Rocknam. I've waited for this for a long time. Harpoon cannon, fire! Oh, that's big. Oh, wow! Huh, there's no escape for you now. Ah! Captain, watch out! There's an enemy ship off the starboard side. It's Ramirez! Yeah, you didn't deal with him. Why wouldn't he shoot you? <laughs> oh, he got behind us while we were concentrating on rocking him. Well, we probably should have shot him down first then, huh? Fuck! Fuck. This little jack is on fire! Propelling power dropping rapidly! We're losing altitude! This isn't good. If we keep this up, we're all gonna die! No! I've waited far too long! I may never get another chance! Captain! We've got to abandon ship! We need to get down to the lifeboats down below! What? You're telling me to abandon the little jack? You're telling me to let Rockham go? Yes! If you die, it won't bring back your son! And as long as you're alive, you'll always have another chance. If you die now, then the lives of your crew and your son would have been lost in vain. Also ours, just saying. Vice is a good negotiator. <laughs> All right, we're abandoning ship. Everyone get down below. I'm 
so heckin' mad. <laughs> oh, whoa! Bold I'm... move to name your ship after your kid who fell. <laughs> oh my God! I fucking dare you. I'm oh, heckin' mad. I'm such a uh, I'm such a heckin' chunker. <laughs> Rocknum appears. With that's not job. a heckin' papa. Yeah, that's not a heckin' papa. <laughs> Captain, hurry! Get on! The ship's going down! Captain? Captain, get on board! Look, Rocknum is hurt! Yeah, we hit him with a harpoon. Captain, what are you doing? No, uh, Captain, hurry, get in! Uh, uh. Looks like I'm ditching you kids one last time. No! Drogma left the party. Captain! Why did he do that? Ramirez, he fires at lifeboats? Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. I mean, whatever, it's fine. They're pirates. <laughs> ah! No! Since, uh, since everyone unexpectedly got to live out of the whole prologue arc, I would kind of give them points for, like, effective stake raising if Drachma's just actually dead and doesn't come back. Also, amazing line from Aloha in chat. He hung onto that ship like it would stop him from falling. <laughs> God. <laughs> So, are you ready for the Castaway Island arc? <laughs> what? I'm alive. I'm human and alive. I'm human <laughs> and alive. I'm human and alive! Are we about to see the surface beneath the clouds? No, you get to eventually. Looks like I've been separated from my Confina. Oh, I hope they're okay. Where am I? Ika, Fina, and Drachma have left the party. <laughs> I feel no remorse. Leaving the party? Just another Saturday afternoon for Drachma. I like that they raise the stakes because you're like ready for Drachma to leave the party, but the fact that you get alone is a surprise. Yeah. I think this is a very fun thing for a pirate RPG to do. Well, yeah. I'm definitely on an island. And an uninhabited one at that. Oh, looks like a storm is coming in. I should find some shelter. And Tom Hanks castaway arc real. Are we gonna have to knock out one of our teeth with the blade of an ice skate? Ugh. God, why I does he have not. to do that? He's he basically has a really painful like cavity uh, from the beginning of the movie, and he ends up marooned on an island before he gets the chance to see a dentist. And after like a couple weeks, it like the pain is not tolerable anymore, so he has to fucking <laughs> do. Aloha. Oh, being stranded on an island is the perfect time to grow your hair out. <laughs> 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 well, guess I'm not the first guy to get shipwrecked on this island. The look of his clothes, he was probably a sailor too. Oh, looks like he's been dead for a long time. Damn, okay. I've heard of a skeleton crew, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's something embroidered on. What is that sound? <laughs> it's supposed a to be a creature, seagull? I guess. It's a creature. There's a creature up to mischief. <laughs> <laughs> There's something embroidered on his collar. Gonzalez. I guess that was his name. <laughs> something in his pocket. It's a map! It's a little old. Uh, maybe it's a map of this island. Hmm. I'm gonna- that's pissing me off. I'm gonna lower the volume. You love having Stupid misophonia. Birds. 
Stupid bird, you make me look bad. There aren't any of the same landmarks. It's probably a map of a different island. It may just come in handy someday. I'll just hold on to this map for a while. Well, I'll give you a proper burial so you'll finally be able to rest in peace. There. Well, I guess I should find some high ground so I can check out the rest of the island. I already did that. Vice's mom always said there's good eating on a skeleton. You can suck out the marrow. It's a pretty old skeleton, though. Does marrow... I'll give him... <laughs> I'll give them a proper burial. Runs off. He, he does it tomorrow. I don't know why he says there, as though he does it right then. Moonberry one. Maybe I can unlock a special move that'll allow me to starve faster. Ooh. I guess my friend Gonzalez had the same idea. Looks like he was living here for quite a while, too. Well, doesn't look like I have much of a choice, so I might as well set up camp here and get some rest. <sighs> I just had a, like, really intrusive vision of an alternate script in this game where he has a really Resident Evil-like uh, line where he's like, I hope it's an Ica skeleton. <laughs> Ica, Fina, wherever you are, I hope you guys are safe. So, uh, Will, you take over as Ica. Savvy, you're going to be the new character in this up and uh, upcoming scene. Okay. Hmm. Gonzalez too. Oh boy. <clears throat> How did we end up in this place? And where exactly are we? This place does seem peculiar. I don't see a vice or Captain Drachma anywhere. I hope they're okay. Uh, they're probably fine. They're both too stubborn to die that easily. Hair mm. down, Ika's so cute. Yeah. She's, yeah. Ika's really cute. I like her a lot. I love Ika mm. on it. She's my favorite party member, actually. That old, my, that old political slogan, I like a Ika. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I wonder who saved us. <laughs> is this me? This is you. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're awake. There's no need to get up just yet. Let's see, what can I get you? This this lady is just made of sugar. <laughs> How about a nice hot bowl of soup? Sure, that'd be great. Oh, my name's Aika. And I'm Fina. Thank you so much for saving us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Aika and Fina, you both have such pretty names. You two are lucky that I found your lifeboat. You were both unconscious. What exactly happened? I love exciting stories. Damn, this lady's be, great immediately. I'd be so wrong genre savvy about this part. Like, by this point, I would be like, warning lights are flashing, this lady's a cannibal. Nope, <laughs> the skies of Arcadia is just an RPG about <laughs> nice people. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. If you don't want to tell me, I won't force you to. <laughs> what if this was that one general in a costume again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. honestly, Fucking that would be incredible. incredible. Actually, that would be a great like overarching setup where it's like her first costume sucks really bad, and then her they second get better and better. <laughs> Till the end, she's pulling like fucking, uh, fucking she's Don Paolo. This <laughs> like I'm a 80 year old, two foot tall man. I captured, <laughs> Fina, I captured Fina 20 hours ago and have been her the whole time. She shows up and she's Antonio Four. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but by the looks of you, I'd say that you two are air pirates. Uh, <laughs> looks like I guessed right. You don't have anything to worry about, my dear. Because I'm an air pirate, too. <laughs> really? Yes. I am Clara of the Blue Rogues. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah, in whatever setting you've got on, uh, it cuts out your first and last words, so single word lines, completely gone. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Vice is probably fine. You... Sorry, you girls like him, right? You girls like him, right? You have to have faith in your in your man or girl, as you tell me. Um, yeah, guy, sure. Um, this can be Yam. 
Dits. Captain Clara! Captain, we'll be reaching Nazareth in a few moments. Okay, prepare for landing. We'll be landing in Na Nisir's capital, Nazrad, very soon. Nazrad is a very large city. Who knows? Maybe you can find out where Vice is while we're there. Okay, when her back's turned, I'm gonna get her. I, I love Nazrad. <laughs> gonna get me what? <laughs> a present. I hope it's a nice gift. Is her entire crew girls? Yes, though if you're thinking this is the USS lesbian, you're about as wrong as you could be. <laughs> it's about time for me to set sail. It was very nice meeting the two of you. I'm sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Here, take this. It's only 5,000 gold. Whoops. It should help. Blue rogues are angels, man. Isn't that Whoa. actually a lot of money in, like, in-game mechanical they, they're terms? They're pretty close to buying a boat with it, apparently. So, yes. Wow, really? Thanks for everything you've done for us. First you save our lives, then you give us gold. Don't give it a second thought. After all, I, too, am a blue rogue. Where are you going to go now, Clara? Me? Well, I'm going after the man I love. He's an air pirate too. He's a little on the wild side, but he's strong, smart, and so yummy. I follow him everywhere he goes. I know that someday he'll come around and fall in love with me too. Isn't that romantic? Uh, sure. Well, I'd better get going. I hope we see each other again. Good luck. I do appreciate, like, character designs and, like, not just not just the visual design, but, like, the characterization that lets you make make a female character, like, action-oriented while still wearing a dress. Like, it's a very specific kind of style that you can't always pull off super easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the nicest stalker that I've ever met. But at least it explains why your entire ship looks like a honeymoon suite. Honeymoon? It's the seventh moon. <laughs> I kind of figured you wouldn't know that what that was, but don't worry about it. Let's go see if we can find a place to sleep tonight. <laughs> I could just turn around and just for once doesn't go, oh, you probably don't know what that is. Just goes, it's when people fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're Ica now. Yeah. Oh, hey. Wow. What a bit. We're not going to read it. I just want to <laughs> skim over some of this dialogue because you do get to come back to this city eventually as Vice, and the dialogue is different with both of the characters. Which... Oh, that's cool. That's a nice little touch. It'd be very funny if Vice were just marooned and pretty much just died off screen and never came back. Very odd use of character economy, but would be unexpected. Mm -hmm. Dang, 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 dang. God, I can't believe they just textured a polygon. God, I can't believe they, uh... I can't believe that three houses ripped off their marketplace tech. <laughs> no uh -huh. Yeah, well, this game is 22 years old, so <laughs> what's Fire Emblem's excuse? <laughs> it's Fire Emblem. I'm glad you picked up on what I was putting down. I'm trying to think, like, what are interesting people to talk to, because I did like... I love how big these barrels are. <laughs> uh, I think this is the I... biggest trading port in the world, so... Ah. I remember when we started Trails from Zero, the first time we went to, like, the marketplace area and being like, oh my god, that pretty much looks the same as Three Halves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this guy, this game is old. What a thrill, the darkness and silence. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> that noise from your mouth. It Actually, this beautiful. guy, this guy does kind of matter. So, um, yeah, I'll take. I, I like Kazim. It is so boring. When is well, you are going to attack again? I am Nasir's top gunner, Kazim. If any enemy ships try uh, try to enter our port, I blow them away with this cannon of mine. But no enemies have attacked us in such a long time! I have nothing to do and it's killing me! 
Ever since I was assigned here, I have not had the chance to fire these cannons. Oh, I hope the chance comes soon. Uh, can we fire it? I... Okay. You know, I, I haven't really been, like, paying super close attention. Do they just straight up, like, not use contractions ever? Do pretty they not much, have any Pretty much energy? never. It's, like, yeah, almost to the point... <laughs> it's, like, almost to the point where I'm, like, did was for some reason, did they not have an apostrophe in, like, the in-game font? Maybe. That no, sounds like they a gotta have possession. specific game design issue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess you're probably right. I I wonder if they were if they were just like, well, pirates are kind of old timey, and they didn't use contractions and stuff like that. But that's a dumb reason. It's not even a true reason. No, I know, but who knows? People are like, oh dang. Yeah, everyone's just. Like, or or they're like, well, it's kind of fantasy. They say the ruler of Nasir is the Nasultan. Yes, that's pretty funny. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you can talk to a bunch of shopkeeps, but like, it's basically like, we don't have any money. And they're like, that's okay. Come back later when you have money. <laughs> we have 5,000. They, they want to save it up for a boat so they can look for uh. vice. Yo, you want to get one of those origami horses there on the left? Oh, no. Is this area inspired by India and Arabia? I think it's specifically Arabia. I, I love all... Nasir has three cities in it, and I like all of them. Oh, that's actually pretty few. I mean, for a JRPG, that's a huge amount. Having three cities? In one country? Oh, I, my apologies. I thought you meant there were, like, three big cities, and that was that. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really small. No, for per country? Yeah, that's wild, actually. Because even, like, Final Fantasy 16 was like, you're in this part of the country, there is one city. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> one life. Yeah. Nee, nee, nee. What? yeah, I like I like how, uh, like, big and just varied the city looks compared to the other one that we saw. I love that, like, I, I mentioned this, even the rando guards have, like, different portraits for no, or, oh, uh, wow. models for no fucking reason. They didn't need to do that. Yeah, wow. Because, like, even the one on the right's, like, a little taller. Yeah, they're taller. They have different faces and different wow. mustaches. What a pain in the ass this must have been. <laughs> mm-hmm. This must have been a really well-optimized game in the sense of cramming shit onto the physical media if they yeah. got away with all of this. Uh, I, th man. I think the original G uh, Dreamcast version did chunk a little. It's pretty famous for A, having that really high encounter rate, but also the disc would make a noise every time an mm. encounter was about to load in so you could pause and save and reload if you didn't want to fight the encounter. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> The meta game. <laughs> yeah, there are there are a couple cute little things in this room. I swear you can talk to this. There's like a poster for something. Am I crazy? Is it this? This this has been my latest thing though. Is I am upset that video games do not have the same level of optimization anymore. I don't want to fucking have every new video game be a hundred gigabytes on my fucking hard drive. Yeah, yeah, it's a little annoying. Um. No, there's definitely, there's like a cute poster in here where there's like, learn, um, I don't know what the term is. They might just say Nazrad belly dancing. There it is, yeah. If you, do read this one. I think it's cute because it, of how it contrasts with vices. Nasir dance lessons. Learn the traditional dances of the desert. Um, I really don't think I have the time. <laughs> there's also, I don't remember, I think it's in the the marketplace I was just in, but there's like a bunch of bikinis. And if you like look at one as like, she's just like, <laughs> I don't think I could wear that. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Meanwhile, Vice is like, huh, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, wow. I never would have guessed there was a You, you can there. see it from the outside. Oh, okay. Man. Honestly, I would I would love it if games like went closer to this again. Yeah. 
Yeah. And just had modern design choices. Hello, hello. Welcome to Osman Financial. The owner, Osman, is in the back room. Okay. Uh, Aram, give me your, give me your biggest, this is a woman. Uh, give me your biggest, like, money <laughs> lady you got. Oh, okay. Salutations. I am the owner of this business. People call me Osman. I am what you call a financier, which is to say a money lender. If you are in need of gold, I can help you. <laughs> Someone said, Osman, you say, working for the Valuans. Yeah. <laughs> Will you really? Our ship was destroyed in a shipwreck, so we need to buy a new one. Could you lend us enough money to buy a new ship? We promise we'll pay it back. A shipwreck? Oh my goodness, that must have been terrifying. But you will have to excuse my asking. What will you offer as collateral? Co collateral? Uh, but we only barely escape with the clothes on our bag. We've got nothing to our names. Shop manager! Please show these customers to the door. What's this about all of a sudden? I, I said we'd pay you back. We may not have any collateral, but you can trust us. I'm not running a charity. I will do business with anyone if it will make me even a single piece of gold. But I'll turn even than a sultan away if it looks like I could take a loss. After all, money is my very life. Oh, precious, precious money. Be on your way. Be on your way. Again, chat, that's a woman. Os Osmond's a lady. Yeah. Ding, 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 but yeah, ding. money bag Spyro. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Spyro reference detected. Mod Analyzing. Modic Chuckle worthy. Modicum <laughs> of joy. Acknowledgement dispersing. <laughs> Dopamine activate. Um, yeah, it's savvy again. This lady talks to us and it matters. Welcome. This inn is 240 gold a night. Would you like a room? Um, we've actually been shipwrecked and we have no money. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to raise money, but... Bah, you girls look like good kids. I trust you. I will start a tab and you two can settle it when you leave, okay? You can use the room all the way in the back on the second floor. Hope you sleep well. That was really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. <sighs> Looks like we're going to be stuck in uh, Nazrad for a while now. What are we going to do tomorrow? Well, I was thinking about looking for a place to work. We have to save up some gold. Let's put aside the money that we got from Clara. If we save up some more, we can buy a small ship and go looking for vice. <laughs> what do you think, Fina? Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Well, tonight, let's just get some rest and hope for the best. She's so cute. Hmm. <laughs> we have to get vice now. <laughs> 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 but I wonder where vice is, though. I lied. I have no chill. I am 500% anxiety right now. Vice, I wonder if you're looking at the same moon right now. I like that in this setting, that's a legitimate question. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I just thought I'm, I could be like, nope, nope, I can't kill him I need to, I need to bite something. Just give me that pillow. I gotta bite something. <laughs> <laughs> just starts like going, like that <laughs> fun <laughs> fucking <laughs> meme image where it's like tearing it back and forth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 With the red eyes. Like, uh, Fina, are you looking at the same moon right now? <sighs> I hope you're all yes. right. Yes! Oh, good, okay. <laughs> so it's actually a red moon. Right yeah, it, it, the red moon. They are both under the red moon. And so okay. I spent my first night alone on the deserted island. I woke up to some fresh, clean air and a warm sun. One of our six suns. Red, red a... moon, sailor's warning. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that felt great, but I'm really hungry right now. If Gonzalez survived long enough to settle into that cave, there's gotta be food on this island. 
It's time to go hunting. Oh, thank God, a rock. No, this is his grave. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. There's a lemon behind that rock. Oh. A tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, just, I'm gonna be speeding through a lot of this because it's it's a little repetitive. No, no, I gotcha. It's a little classic Simpsons reference that appears to have not been secured, but I I satisfied myself, and that's all that matters. You don't that's have to say all that, Aram. We know those are the stakes. <laughs> <laughs> we know this is what your life is. Hey, man, no need for noise. You can stop. <laughs> hey, man. Your Honor, I'm cute. Leave me be. Leave me be. Hey, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, Will, do you ever shut God, the fuck will up? Will, do you ever shut up? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Today on so, My Friends Are Mean to Each Other. No, to clarify. No, you don't understand. <laughs> to clarify, in Baldur's Gate 3, there's a character named Will. And um, there was a small glitch for a while that he would just have this little uh, notification over his head being like, I have new things to say. Uh, and he wouldn't, actually. And while we were all playing together, uh, I kept sneezing, because I just, I don't know, I was having a s little sneeze problem. And Aram out of nowhere goes, God, Will, do you ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> we were all just sitting there, and he's like, no, oh my God, Will in the game, oh my God. Quintessential <laughs> Aram moment right yeah. there. Every, every single person in the call was like, <gasps> Everyone was Aram! <laughs> <laughs> did, did, was that even it? My recollection, maybe it was because I was still paying more attention to the game and I didn't realize what I had said. I thought I said that and it was just dead silent from everyone else and I just like kept on talking, not even realizing what I had said for a couple no. seconds. No, with no, their well, audible like, gas. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm like, yeah. no, no, and then you <laughs> let go. <laughs> Bro, I love Baldur's Gate 3, Carl like is the best. Correct? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's that's the only fact. No, I I let out such a loud, like, real ass, no, <laughs> uh, that uh, one of my roommates pinged me on Discord to be like, are you, are you actually, like, is, are you okay? <laughs> <sighs> I should have enough food to last me for a while. I died. I wonder if this island is near any of the trade routes. The ship has got to pass by here sooner or later. I should prepare some sort of signal fire in case I see any ships. Yep. Recap. I always appreciate RPGs trying to, like, change up the gameplay loop while using their same core mechanics. Yeah. I, I also appreciate when you get the immediate, like, oh, okay, we're going to do the 6X arcs, and, you know, around the time you get to the third one, if it's starting to feel a little predictable, it's like, uh, just kidding, fucko, we're going to throw you off in a completely different direction for a while. On the fourth day of Stranded, this island gave to me nothing but a disease. <laughs> uh. This place isn't so bad. Let's see. I need to gather some firewood. Nothing but a DVD. Oh, I really thought those stones were gonna have moved and because yeah. Gonzalez is like, why'd you bury me? I was sleeping. Huh. They're dry and they're just about the right size. We should look for more sticks like these. Okay, yeah, go. stick finding arc, let's go. Let's go. So how did you guys enjoy the stranded arc? Uh, stick finding arc is about eight times the length of that previous <laughs> one. Yo, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the time to just chat away. There's a lot of little grinding work and I use my saves other places, so don't even worry yeah, about it. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Let's see here. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Ex oh, I should see if how my we, mom How we doing on monetization, travel. Aloha? Oh, so yeah. Oh, Inform yeah. the people. Did we make money? Are we making money? Where can I they... I made money, get... Kiff. Inform the crew. <laughs> Where can they give us money and in return be rewarded for their purchase? Your eternal reward. <laughs> 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 no. We are still monetized. Great. 
Okay. Oh, got, really? Wow. Okay. Zowie, zowie. Yeah, we did a long stream yesterday, and it was fine the whole time, and then it got demonetized after, because they were like, oh, they're keeping watch now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was my fourth day on this island, and I'm really... It was my fourth day, and then I'm, present tense, really starting to miss sailing. I suppose I'll just have to think of this as some sort of vacation and deal with it. On the fifth day of island... <laughs> Boo hoo ha hoo hee. It's raining. I wonder if I can fix the lifeboat from the little jack. It rained. All right, great. <sighs> I mean, I like how long he's here. I think it's kind of interesting. It's like, all right, there should be some moonstones lying around. The rain probably unearthed a bunch of them. I'm surprised he doesn't have. I mean, I, I'm not like surprised that the game isn't rendering this. Uh, maybe a little surprised given all the custom faces. Uh, like the oh, where's the stubble? He should have. He should have beard by now. I actually don't grow any facial hair. Thank the moons. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one, uh, but I'll need more than one to fly to the next island. Time to look for some more. Maybe I can get a few more sticks while I'm at it. It's pretty much five the same more hours thing. of gameplay. Welcome to the Moonstone Arc. Whoa. Welcome to the Black Parade. Do 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 do. Bum, bum, ba, dum, there's bum, there's bum. some cute lore as he picks these up about like, oh, it's a good thing uh, no one's been on this island, otherwise these Moonstones would be long gone. They haven't been processed yet, so I'm gonna need a lot of them to, uh, to like actually fly a ship because they're not correctly calibrated so raw moonstones are worse than processed ones um huh. he's like okay they're red so i must be near nasir that's cool that's a that's a good way to make this like a little more engaging there's a lot of good mm -hmm. world building that unfortunately we're kind of skipping over because like i mean we we learned pretty hard in the trails game you can't read everything or you're there for a hundred million years one billion years. No, nothing in here. No. No, it can't be. Oh, the, oh this is so sad. Baba boy. This island is a cake. <laughs> That's the big twist. That would be interesting. The I'm here and alive. Specifically, the third stick that we found. We actually already burned it, so don't have to worry oh, about that. Oh, we're ahead one. of the game. Yeah, I always have trouble finding this last rock. Huh. I'm uh, playing Scrabble with my mom, and I got the uh, the opening hand. It's E E E I O O O. So I think I'm going to trade some of these in. Ew! There you go. Jesus. E I E I O. That's like, that's like, that's like two full old McDonald's. Yeah. You can and, keep his old ass farm. And here Will is opening with the old McDonald, a rarely used move because it is stupid and for idiots. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. Oh, please pick. Whoa, whoa. a little McDonald's. bit of a dance there. That's a very, Ooh. that's a nice, a nicely phrased descriptor. Stupid and for idiots. <laughs> <laughs> His moonstones haven't been processed yet. Go ahead, Will, were you going to say something? I was just going to joke, like, Vice goes for it and kind of does a twirl, and like, whoa, I like that. Huh. <laughs> just keeps going. He spins everywhere he goes, like Paper Mario. more often. <laughs> it may not give off much power, but it should be enough to power this little lifeboat. Hmm. Looks like I'm finally, looks like I'll finally make it off of this island. I started working on the boat. This island is full of trees, so I won't have to worry about running out of materials. Food, one week passed. Oh my god, you're here for a while. Mm-hmm. He actually has to survive on a desert island for a bit, which I like. Damn. That's just a lot more time than I thought this would be, like, maybe a week. No, it's just two. I mean, even still. Yeah, two, week, two weeks of island work ain't nothing. Damn. Gonzalez must have been a real loser if he couldn't put together a working ship. He didn't have a ship. <laughs> he didn't have a boat to start and, with. And whose fault was that? Oh, I mean, okay. I sure. ate my boat to survive. Should have pulled himself up from his bootstraps. 
I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, it's easy. Just get a flying machine, turn it on. <laughs> Draw the rest of the owl. <laughs> Let me just rub this magic rock on here. Oh. It's evolving. That was a firestone. Boats have the same lifespan as Digimon. Explain. Explain. Mm. Uh, did he leave? <laughs> Flies away without him. Fuck! I love the multiple moons. It's just a very cool fantasy thingy. All right. That should just about do it. Finally going to be able to get off this island tomorrow. Ramirez flies by and blows up the boat. Oh, oh it's you. Let me just uh, do some juking here. Crump on my boat. What? A ship! <laughs> Why couldn't it have come a little earlier? Wouldn't have spent all that time working on the boat! <laughs> Falls off the <laughs> island. As he's running, all I can think of him is just yelling, The British are coming! Hmm. How badly does having six moons mess with the oceans? I mean, there's no ocean, so... GET HIM! <laughs> no. Wow, yeah, they just get his ass No, they're shooting a flare. <laughs> you did load a flare, right? Huh? She's just touched a vice, he's just a crater. Yes! <sighs> they saw me! Well, looks like I'm finally getting off this rock! You're going to jail. Huh? Uh, Savvy, <laughs> you're gonna be the first guy talking, and then Aram is this character. Mm. Assigned Aram at birth. <laughs> <clears throat> you're, you're air pirate. <clears throat> Captain Gilda! Oh, not again, Lola. Let me sleep a little longer. <laughs> Captain, uh, Captain, you need to wake up. Jeez. Huh? Oh. We just picked up a boy stranded on a desert island. He says that he's been here for two weeks. Judging by the way he's dressed, he's probably an air pirate. He looks like he's about 17, pretty much still a baby. What? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a lucky kid. He was only stranded for two weeks. <laughs> but if it was me and I was stuck on an island without any women for two whole weeks, I'm not sure if I would have made it. Oh, so boy. I'll, I'll tell you, Gilder's a bit of a scamp. I still respect him. He, wow. he's, all, he's all right. Um, We will see his foil this sitting if... Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you're the guy that was stranded. Hmm. And you're dressed like an air pirate. What's your name, kid? Now's a great time to pick a new name. I'm Vice. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Are you the captain of the ship? I just froze up. I couldn't think of anything. For some yeah. reason, I'm a little attracted to you. <laughs> yes, I am. Just call me Gilder. The ship's name is Claudia, and this beast on my shoulder here is Willy. He's the only one I'll show you. Come to the bridge. I want to hear about her adventures. Very good joke. <laughs> You've defeated three of the Armada's admirals and escaped from the Grand Fortress? I like you, Vice. Wouldn't expect anything less from an air pirate. Personally, I'm constantly searching for adventure. Treasure, brawls, and women. There are tons of things in this world that make me happy. Women are like sunsets. They're beautiful, but there will be a different one tomorrow. That's my motto. <laughs> Fuck. <Cool. laughs> Absolutely wild. That's messed up. How can you be a captain with that attitude? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But strangely enough, here I am, commanding my own ship. But what about yourself? 
Here you are, battling Valua and chasing Rocknum all over the world. You're not the type to settle down either. So, you've been away from your ship for two weeks, right? I bet you really miss sailing. Go ahead, take the wheel. W really? You'd let me? <laughs> God, I meant take it and replace it with that other shinier one over there. <laughs> I don't care. Anyone who's accomplished what you have knows his way around a ship. The Claudia's <laughs> on the sensitive side. But she'll get the hang of her in no time. <laughs> the thing Savvy just posted. Where did you get that? I just made it. <laughs> oh, you're the best, <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> oh, Damn hold thing. on. Can I, can I put that in chat? You won't be able to. <laughs> Aloha's going to have to do it. Oh. I'm heading to Nasrad and Sorry. something else that I didn't read. Dang. If you get lost, just look at the map and get your bearings. All right, let's go. I have joined the party. party. It's always a party when Gilda's in town. You know, yeah, like I, while I was playing this, I was like, I bet chat's gonna find Gilda gross. Oh no, it's Gilda gross. And then by the end of my sitting, I was like, no, Gilder's pretty cool. I like Gilder. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to trust me. Anyway, let's uh, let's unlock some super moves. Bless you, is it, Aloha. Is this a case of Gilder being cool in spite of his like whole thing with women, or so is it the trick here? Of... Is I, I will tell you, there's at least one time you immediately see on screen he flirts with a girl, and like it's it's like pretty like, hey, would you like to like go on a date with me, basically? And they're like, oh no, thank you. He's like, great, have a nice evening, like. Like, he's, oh. he's a flirt, but he's not a fuckboy, if that makes sense. Uh, so, in other words, he is a woman appreciator in the good way. Like, like dude likes to get his dick wet, but... He... <laughs> dude likes sex and he likes women, but he won't do it if it's not approved. Okay, I can I can respect that. That's like I can respect that. He's, like I, he yeah. Could, he could be better, but as far as characters from this, this is the one. I've got one of those. Uh, I got one of those hats. You know, they they wear at ball games with the two beer cans, the little nozzles in the mouth. Only my cans are full of Viagra on one side and respect <laughs> women juice on the other. <laughs> Captain, there's a suspi- <laughs> I gotta stop defaulting to that voice. Captain, there's a suspicious looking ship heading straight for us. It's coming in fast and it's pink. <laughs> what? I wonder who- Oh, no. Who else do you <laughs> think it is, Gilda? God, the anchor's even a heart. Her ship, the Wink Wonk. There you are, my love. You can't play hard to get forever. My heart belongs to you! <laughs> yep, it's Clara, alright. <laughs> hmm, in some ways, she's even more frightening than the Armada. Hmm. Okay, here's the plan. We shoot her Kill down! Her. <laughs> Vice, you and I are gonna take a lifeboat to Nasrad, and my crew will sail my ship in the opposite direction as a decoy. <laughs> What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Uh, okay, but you're the captain. Is it all right for you to leave your ship? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Titles mean nothing to me. <laughs> and I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm always searching for adventure. Why is like this fucking guy? <laughs> Dude, this guy kind of rules. I Gilder's awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Also, titles mean nothing to me. I have no idea what any of these say points to a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Time for Operation Claren. You know the routine. Catch us. Up, catch up with us later. Oh, he does this repeated. Mm -hmm. This is oh, a usual me. thing for him. I love it. Prepare to be boarded. Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Works every time. All right, Vice, let's head south. Let's see what kind of fun Nasrad has to offer. I also, I love the design of Gilder's ship. Yeah. It's cool as hell. <clears throat> I have some personal stuff to take care of first. You go to the inn and rest up. Catch up with you a little later. I don't mind traveling separately, but what is it you need to do exactly? I need to stop by the tavern for a bit. There's a few women there that'll be happy to see me. Don't wait up. Don't worry, it'll be quick. 
They don't call me the two pump chump for nothing. Oh no, I can't come. Quick, grab the lifeboat and get in the opposite <laughs> direction. <laughs> one of them. Hmm. I swore one of them has like a thing where it's like, wow, that's a lot like I think Kale, which is the fantasy version of just chili peppers, and one of them's mm. just like, wow, that's a lot. The other one's like, I think my mouth would set on fire if I saw that. <laughs> uh, we we got a, a bit to get through, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, sit around and talk to everybody. But sure. but they do have like slightly different dialogue with Vice, which I think is very cool of them to yeah. bother doing. So I'll just go to the correct place. Heck yeah, we're doing it. Whoa. Ding 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 ding. Welcome. This inn is 240 gold a night. Would you like a room? Yeah. You can... She, she doesn't have any more cutscenes. Be gone. What is this thing? Some sort of square orifice in the wall. A door oh. thing? Wait, this... A dorifice. This looks like the room. I guess I'll just have to wait for Gilder here. I told you not to wait up, Vice. <laughs> oh, what come on! What a comedy of errors! <laughs> it's Payday! Working as a waitress was actually more fun than I thought. I have nothing to say about this. I, I have never worked for gold before. It's it's rather exciting, actually. I also find Fina really cute. <laughs> Ooh, I got my first taste of capitalism, and I liked it. She goes, it's it's quite exciting actually. It wears off fast. <laughs> I, Don't forget, I, Nina, we're part of the proletariat. I may be a part of the silver civilization, but I could be convinced to join the gold one. The civilization. <laughs> oh. Uh Yam, you be the bartender. <clears throat> oh, it's you. There you are, this is your pay. You learned it. Ooh, you both worked very hard, so I decided to help you out with a little extra bonus. Thank you for everything. Oh, people are just nice in this setting. Cham! Uh, Amy, has your boss ever given you four Sacris Crystal and a Cham? Man, for, I wish. For job well done. I mean, you did get down, to, you did get taken down to the bone dungeon underneath your workplace's <laughs> reward once. That is true. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Wow! <laughs> Thanks! With this, we finally have the 10,000 gold that we need to buy a ship! God damn! You can work as a, a service sector employee for two weeks. Gives Make you five K. you need to buy a ship? The the economy <laughs> here is incredible. It's It skews so hard towards the middle class. Oh, what a lovely safety... Uh, you know, hey there, young girl! Can I talk to you about our nation's social policies? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, didn't know you had such pretty girls working here. Oh, sorry, dog. Um, Gilder, you scoundrel. Keep your hands off the help, okay? They just stopped working here, right? You don't need to get so protective. Things never change. Gilder, you never were one to resist a pretty face. Aika, Fina, be careful out there. You better take care of yourselves. Thanks for everything. All right, Fina, let's go back to the inn and pay off our bill. This is where you what find out What they don't tell you is the bill is like... Yeah, so the, the bill is 6,000 gold. Welcome to the <laughs> rat race, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, Chet is obviously very intrigued by the bone dungeon. Um, to... To put it shortly, I work at a cafe in a museum. Underneath the museum, there is a dig site, and my manager took me down there one night after uh, an event, and it was mm. cool. Sir, what's wrong? Do you need help? Also savvy. I'm I'm front loading all the NPCs as savvy because there's no one for savvy voice in the back half of this. <laughs> Fair enough. Ugh, starving. Thirsty. Need water. Need food. 
All right, just hang on. I'll bring you inside. We'll take care of you. It, uh, uh, my medicine uh, will cost uh, 10,000 gold. <laughs> I'm vice. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> I I was under the, the effects of the time moon. <laughs> I was say the time time fruit. <laughs> Makes you old Thank and you. sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. My name is Pedro. I am not sure how I can repay you. That's quite all right. Don't give it another thought. Helping people in distress is what we blue rogues live for. Can you help me find my brother, Gonzalez? <laughs> he knows too much. I look at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're an air pirate. I can't do much to repay you. But please, accept this. Uh, what's this? Looks like an old map. I... I oh. oh. I got you. I, I used <laughs> to be a sailor. I used to travel with my friend, Gonzalez. You know how you talk One... to people about your 50-year-old dead friend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One day, we were lucky enough to find this. The cat's map. The cat's map? Yes, there was one cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's imagining imaging that the cat that I've always pronounced it as the cat, but making it the cat and imagining this character is a big cat makes this the next hour way funnier. <laughs> so let's look at that. About five generations ago, long before my time, there was a great air pirate named the Cat. That terrorized the world. Macavity. The world was his mouse. McCavity's a mystery cat. He's very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. And this map supposedly shows where Captain the Cat <laughs> hid all of his treasures. Treasures. The Cat Island. But half of the map is missing. Well... Gonzalez and I promised each other to look for it together someday. We tore the map in half and we each carried a piece with us. Right after we found the map, we were attacked by black pirates. We had to abandon ship. I don't know what happened to Gonzalez, but I ended up here in Nazrad. I like I the soft I, feel... so I like the soft implication because their names are um like Spanish. They're probably from Valua originally, which is kind of fun. Oh. I've been waiting here for him in this town for a very long time. I don't think I have ever seen him again. That's very sad. Now I am too old to be going off looking for buried treasure. Is the cat's treasure one of the moon creatures treasure. that controls the Gigas? That would be very economical. I'll tell you it's not. I'm sure that Gonzalez would have been happy if I'd found the treasure. Oh, like Golden Kamui. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so you kind of got the raw end of the deal. You had the half that didn't have the mark for the treasure. Like, you could easily find it on your own. I know, right? Anyway, thank you for saving me. Good luck finding that treasure. treasure. I will, yeah, I will now disappear from the <clears throat> game. Goodbye. I hope I don't. <gasps> huh? I'm now going to crawl into a dark space somewhere and die, much like a cat. <laughs> okay. Fina, what do you think? Do you think this map is worth anything? Hmm. He didn't appear to be the kind of person that would lie. Yeah, that story did seem a little far-fetched, but it might be worth checking out. Hey, do you want to go searching for the treasure? Sure, I would like that very much. It sounds interesting. Sounds like a plan. Let's pay the innkeeper and get going! Do they literally swap places with Vice? Why, hello there! You wanna grab a bite to eat? I have a friend that can come along too. Oh, we'd love to, but we're about to go on a trip. Maybe some other time. I see. Well, that's too bad. Safe travels. Yeah, no, he just like, hey. wants to go. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah fair. Someone, someone made a joke earlier in the chat where it was like, hello, ladies. They're 16. Never mind. I'll stay in my lane. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's on me. Sorry, kids. Have a nice night. It's you can never really because, tell. Like, I apologize. I, I look at their models and I'm like, yeah, okay. They look like they could be teenagers. And he 
it is kind of of indeterminate age, and if out of context, I might assume he was like maybe in his thirties. But because it's a JRPG, I'm like, oh well, he's a he's like old, so he's probably like twenty three. I yeah. yeah, I've always read Gilder as like thirty five. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe we'll run into you later. I don't see why you would. Goodbye. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Just hey, voice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we just got into town and you got your face buried in that map. Have a little fun, will you? Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> hey, where'd you get that map? I found it on the deserted island I was on. It's a map to the hidden treasure of the legendary air pirate, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a cat. He said that he traveled the world and has seen all six moons with his own eyes. And it is also said that all the treasures he accumulated on his adventures are hidden somewhere in one piece. <gasps> and this is a map of that island. Ha! Vice, you certainly know how to pick your maps. Uh, but how do we know it's real? Pulls out a gun. If only you knew how to pick your battles. <laughs> oh, he really did inspire Garrison Calabas. <laughs> Look, it's the cat seal. It's like a picture of a fish in a bottle. It's just of a milk. paw print. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it isn't easy to duplicate that seal. It's no fake vice. This is a real treasure map. Gilder's also a cool dude because he informs Vice about this and then is like, let's go find it together and split the treasure. <laughs> He's just a bro. We can't I just like him. sit here. We have to leave right away. I'm Vice, but I, how do I, we've been doing this for like four years and I still do that. <laughs> it, it happens. But Gilder, didn't you say something about meeting women and having some fun and maybe becoming women? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think is more? Wait, what was that last one? I don't know. Uh, meeting okay. women. You can do that? <laughs> Which do you think is more important? Women or the cat's treasure? Women. Because, besides, with the cat's treasure, we'll be able to get more women. I am now $20 on board. $20 can buy many peanuts, Vice. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> I've already hit on every woman in town, Vice, and struck out with all of them. Let's go. <laughs> the, There's only the one scene. conclusion. If I want to be more successful with women, I need more money. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we head off looking for the Cat's Island, I should warn the king about Valua's plans. That's very nice of you. There's... There's an edit of um, that entire scene of Homer finding the twenty dollars and reasoning out that he could buy many peanuts with it, where somebody's edited it to be a disco Elysium sequence. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Buy twenty dollars and buy many peanuts. Explain <laughs> how money can be exchanged for goods and services. This is the royal. <laughs> uh, Yam again. Just be these guards. This is the royal palace of the Nasultan. If you do not have official business, then you are not welcome here. An Nasultan? Oh, sorry. The rulers of Nasir always take on the title of Nasultan, and this is the royal palace. I see. So we should tell this Nasultan guy about Valua's plan to attack. Uh, please, we must speak to the Nasultan right away. Let us through. What? You wish to speak to the Nasultan? Do you think we allow commoners into the royal palace? Of course we do! We love the middle class here in Nasrat! Mm. I have important information regarding the value in Arma Armanda. Please, let us pass. Damn, that's what I should have called myself when he asked me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Important information about the Valuans? Hmm. Valua is our greatest enemy. If you have information about them, then perhaps we can let you speak to the Nasultan. Very well, I will grant you permission to enter the royal palace. Now, if you will follow me. You love walking up to a guard and going, yo, I've got good information for your king. And they're like, okay, I'll escort you. Yeah, no, in almost any other game, it would be like, hmm, all right, but uh, only if you do this side quest to prove the, that you're trustworthy. <laughs> Not too shabby, kid. I would have thought that two ruffians like us would be able to meet the Nasultan. Well, I just figured that if they knew we were doing them a favor, they'd let us in. Now might be a good time to let you know I'm a value and assassin. Uh, Will. Sure. 
Oh! So, you're the air pirate who escaped from the Grand Fortress, eh? I am the Nasultan of the Nasir Kingdom. What is it that you want from me? Would you He's be able me. to find my missing piece of the Triforce of Power? Yeah. He's got the <laughs> hat and mustache <clears throat> shape of that captain from Paper Mario. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Velua is planning an attack on Nasrat, and they're already organizing their forces. You should warn your people and assemble your fleet right away. <laughs> you came all this way to tell me this? <laughs> Do not fear. Our navy is powerful enough to crush the Valuan Armada. I think he's supposed to be wearing gold, but it, the texture makes it look like he's wearing mummy wraps, which I find yeah, very it's, funny. Yeah, it's like weird clinging to his, his shape as tightly as it is. But, Your Majesty, you shouldn't underestimate them. You need to assemble your fleet or many innocent lives will be lost. <laughs> You seem very concerned about Nasir for an air pirate. Angry. Nazrat is shielded by mountains in the south and sky rifts to the east. It is impossible for Wang. them to invade. It's a great animation. If they were to try and invade us, it would have to be from the north, and that is our fleet. That is where our fleet is located. The south Dan- Danil? Danil. The South Danil Strait is properly guarded, and the Maelstrom blocks off the North Danil Strait. In other words, it would be impossible for anyone to evade us. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Do not worry. Nasir is protected by the Red Moon. Though you cannot touch us. Chat, many innocent women lives will be lost. Rally the troops immediately! <laughs> And besides, if someone as young as you can get past the Armada, perhaps they're losing their edge. Imagine that! They want some mighty value in Armada fooled by a boy! <laughs> I'm really mad about that for reasons I can't quite articulate. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use, Vice. I don't think you'll listen to anything we have to say. Stop wasting our time and get to looking for Dekat's Island. I don't know. Seems way too overconfident, but I hope for his sake that he's right. Come on, let's go. The sooner we find that island, the sooner we'll be the cat's meow. This adventure's gonna be the cat's pajamas, an equipable item we can unlock in the upcoming dungeon. Is it? <laughs> no, that would be amazing. <laughs> All right, it's a little small, but we bought a ship. Yes. But the gold that we got from Clara and, and from working is all gone now. Yeah, her last name is weird. Don't worry about it, Fina. <laughs> all we need to do is find Da Cat's treasure and we'll be fine. Let me see. Uh, did the map say where the island was located? <laughs> the dead will always watch over my treasure. It is located. Well, where is it? Oh, no, it's torn off. I can't see what it says. Oh, that's you. still me, Jesus. Uh, looks like the only way we'll be able to find the island is by this clue. Uh, I think this skull on the map has something to do with it. Okay, the next clue? <laughs> well, it's not going to do us any good just sitting around and doing nothing. We might as well get searching. I like that Phoenix just like, okay, I like hanging out with my friend. <laughs> yes. I I imagined that when Fina said, but now all the money that we got from Clara and, and working is all gone. And I could just tell the story goes, that's, that's how pain for things works, Fina. I genuinely what? have an excuse for not knowing that. <laughs> just while they're, while they're like sitting in bed, it's just like, oh, by the way, okay, yeah, we're talking. <laughs> On the treasure map, it says, the dead will always watch over my treasure. And there's a skull here on the eastern part of the Valuan continent. I wonder if that has to do anything. Anything to do with anything. Yeah, anything to do with it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any <laughs> way you want it. Ba -na 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 -na. Long night. Long night. Long yes. night. <laughs> da -na -na. <laughs> Long, long man. Long uh. night. Piss fight. <laughs> long night. Pig night. 
It's a Pokemon. Da, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Uh, time to use my schmooves. All oh, right, we have no items. Here we go. It's me, four kids, Sanji. <laughs> Oi, David Moo. David Moo. Oh, don't critic. Ah! Oh, even cupels. Oh shit. I can still use an item though, right? No, right. I don't have items. Fuck. Oh, no. he turns into a little sword. This cute. Yeah, cupels. Cupels thing changes every couple champs you get. When the night is, is night. night. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> and the moon is a moon. a moon. At night! At night. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I'm just trying to save time. No, no, yeah, I, no, that's not that's not mocking. It's just very funny. Just while they're while they're hanging out uh in their in their room, Phoenix just like, let me Oh yeah, hang on. I found Skull Rock. Uh -huh, Skull Rock! I never believed that old story about the skull pointing way to the hidden treasure, but one night I was passing by it, and moonlight from the full moon reflected off Skull Rock and lit up an island in the distance. It didn't investigate. <laughs> yeah, and then there the wasn't fuck? any treasure, and I was like, God damn, I'll continue not believing that. I, I like to imagine that when uh, Aika and Fina were just hanging out in the room, it's just like, but yeah, if there's anything you want to, uh, anything you want to know about, let me know. Uh, hang on, this is a really... This one gets you like 10,000 gold. <laughs> balloon seed! There was a time where balloon flowers could be found throughout the lands, but now they only exist in history books. But where there are seeds, there must be flowers. Perhaps the history books are not quite so accurate. Huh. It's like, yeah, if there's anything you want to know about, just let me know. What does kissing feel like? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, huh. I don't know! Uh -oh. If you awaken something in me, my god! <laughs> Things are already complicated enough with Vice. What about Vice? <sighs> Whoa, oh my god. You're as clueless as Vice. A scorpion! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> hey! Why won't this door open? It won't even budge! There's something written here. It's an old language, but I think I can read it. When the two become one, the path will be will reveal itself to you. What's that supposed to mean? Why is the cat being so stingy? It's not like any of his gold means anything to him anymore! She's crying! Really, he's really bent out of shape over there. It finds it, walks up to a door she can't open. I mean, Ika is really no! into treasure specifically, so yeah. this, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> well, you're great. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's just how f funny how she escalated from like everything is fine to like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to I me. Just, <laughs> I just like I like I like Will's Ika the best. I'll put my cards on the table, but also when Drachma was around, like after Will started being Drachma, I was like, I can't change that, like. <laughs> Well then, let's go find us some treasure. Okay, there are some directions on the map. <laughs> okay, the next. <laughs> okay. I really thought that was gonna end. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the north of the city of the sands, when the two pieces become whole, the way to the treasure will be known. Can't read anything before that. It's torn off. Uh, that's all it says. The city of the sands probably refers to the city that was here before Nasarat. I think it was called Oasis. So, it's to the north of here, huh? Well, we can get there in no time with my ship. I'm a sailor without a ship at this point. There's no way I'll be able to search for my friends now. If we do find the treasure, I'd like to use my share to buy a ship. I like that they have the same idea as each other and the same priorities. Yeah. <laughs> I like you, Vice. You never give up. Very well, off we go. I like that Gilder's known this kid for like less than 24 hours. Like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, let's he's just, just hang like, out. I'm, I'm ride or die now. I don't give a shit. I <laughs> really like Gilder. Like Gilder's great. <laughs> Ika finds out she's a lesbian, and, like at the as the, at the same pace that yeah. Vice finds out he's he's trans. Oh no. Am I? Am I? Is this causing me to start getting attracted to Vice? No! 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 
No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Tina reading the, the tablet like, huh, when the two become one, what do you think that could mean? Is there anything we can do to try that? <laughs> oh, uh, I want to show off Gilder's S-Craft. That's not what they're called. His S-Craft? His schmoove. His schmoove, sorry. If you uh, didn't already like Gilder. He's about to get killed by Scorpion. By Scorpion. Ah, a Scorpion! <laughs> I'm feeling quieter. Oh. Come on. Dance for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love him. Holy so, uh, shit. They, they moved, but Gilder's uh, schmoove is a cone attack, so it does hit multiple enemies. I love He's like, hey, one Scorpion. Fuck you. I, I fucking- I'm gonna- I'm like, gonna shoot you 850 times. As a kid, every single time Gilder would say that, I would just say it along. Come on, dance for me. I thought it was the coolest fucking- <laughs> no, I mean, I it is that. the coolest ever. Dance, yeah, boy! Shoots at the ground. Dance for me. I feel like Fina is ace. I think it's really funny if Fina has herself entirely figured out in terms of gender and sexuality and like- Nothing out, like nothing makes sense to her. She doesn't know what money is, but then like she sees her friend struggling with this, and it's like, it's okay. I will help you. I can't, I can't open the door, but I can show you it. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> my, my man straight up executed this guy. Take, Take that. that. Take that. We're all that. I wish they were all that easy. I love Gilder. <laughs> okay, really Gilder has quickly skyrocketed to yeah. top three in this game for me. Gilder's God. fantastic. This is how you write a character who's like interested in women and like kind of a scoundrel, but not like a shitter about it. It's because he's not gross once people express disinterest. That's that's really yeah. the big thing. It's such a fucking low bar and like so many people fuck it up, dude. Nah, a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> this door is huge and there's a scorpion on it. I don't know how the two of us can open it. There's probably some sort of trick to opening it. Oh, well, shit. What? What was that? Take notes, Oda. This is a little, uh, yeah. What was that? Oh, that's cute. That so they, That they coincidentally figured it out. Or whatever it was, it just opened the door. I don't know if that's good or bad. Thank God the scorpion's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. Did you? <laughs> the map said something like when the two pieces come together I wonder if anyone else is here <laughs> never mind what are the chances of that I go what do you think we should do I'm not sure how but the door's open and there's treasure inside we should go so uh split party dungeon <laughs> Oh, very uh, do, cool. Uh, unless someone's immediately about to show up that I'm gonna voice, can I quickly step away? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna get some water and such. E. So can you can I you can use these to uh, switch oh. to. And you open. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a split party dungeon where the two halves of the party don't know the other is there before. <laughs> this is this is a very cute setup. I like this. Baru. Baru. I think they should outspeed me. Yeah. When my dog wants a treat, Baru. Ah! ah! <laughs> All right, man. If you want to, if you, you want to do that, like, you don't need to give me the treat. I just want to Baru. Baru it. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rabbit. The, so the best part Jesus is, Christ. is like Ika and Fina are hearing like hundreds of gunshots. Yeah. <laughs> like it's the entire belly of an army. God. 
so uh, I'm gonna show this off because I want to make sure we're at like full power here. Uh, I want to show off, I guess you could call this, this game's Mimic equivalent. I didn't get to in the last two dungeons because it was a waste of a save slot. Um, let's see, wait, hang on, will this vice have equipped? I, this isn't even that hard, okay, but I'm actually super yeah, over leveled be, too. Usually Gilder's like three levels higher than you. So, there are these guys who guard treasure chests with literal treasure in them that you go and sell named Zivil and Bane, and uh, they they drop, like, stat-up items, and the reason I bring them up is because their boss is the final bounty fight, and he's really hard. Oh. Honestly, all the bounty fights are really hard, though, so... Dun 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 Oh, that was dramatic for just an attack called base. It's a grenade. Well, oh, fair enough. Uh, okay, they're red, so purple. It doesn't really come up, but Gilder's magic type is purple, but it very much feels like it's just because he's the last one they had to give a magic type to. Yeah. Nice. Ho oh, ho. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Bum 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 bum. Are there like different victory lines if you b win a battle and you're almost dead? Where Actually, like, oh, yes. And I, I had you asked me that last setting, I or sitting, I would have said no. But I was like moving so fast and speed, like just speed running through shit. And Vice was actually really low, and he was just like, ah, or something at the end. And I was like, oh, I didn't even remember that was a thing, because it happens so infrequently. If your characters go down in this game, it's usually because of an instant death spell. Uh, so I do have, I do have uh, the end of this dungeon. So I'm just going to go to it. And I'm gonna have to reload cool. this, I assume. So, that's that's mm. a fun little setup, though. I, this is this is all good. I like this a lot. Yeah, this <clears throat> this whole uh, this whole setup is really nice. Oh, I don't think we have sound, by the way. Really? Even though I restarted it? Hmm. I wasn't hearing any noises. There it is. There we go. I don't know. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Normally, I I really detest the whole like ooh no the series of events but we don't see or hear from each other and whatnot but like no this is cute i like this this is done well it's uh it's short and cute enough and also i'll just uh there's some really obvious like switch moving shit and then can i open this <coughs> no okay. that's another dot no, there's oh, this path. there's like a big room where you have to like it's very zelda dungeon where you rotate this giant barrel around with one party oh. member to navigate the geometries of it with the other um it's it's all done there there wasn't a good there's no midpoint in this dungeon to show no it. yeah so. so funny because they don't they haven't actually run into each other the idea that each half of the party is like man everything is like moving around really conveniently for us. <laughs> yeah. like, no they they it. are like what the fuck is going on it's yeah. pretty funny actually let me make sure that because this this fight isn't this fight can be hard actually if you're not ready for it I should really be Probably using Gilder to heal. Well, too late now. All right, here we go. Raw on site. Raw. Oh my God! Something happened. I actually kind of wish there was, like, at least one other point in this game you got to control Aika or Fina as your lead for a little bit. Yeah. That is a big treasure chest. Wow. Aram. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck! I believe that's what we came here for! <laughs> <laughs> the cat's treasure! That's gotta be it! 
Now I can buy my ship! Wow! Look, Fina! Look! Oh, the treasure chest is huge! Oh, yes! I see it! Do you think it's Captain Ducat's treasure? Uh, Who's there? You don't recognize them? Come. Who's there yourself? <gasps> Vice? It's Vice! Vice! Laika! Fina, you're both okay! Vice! Aww. If I if Aww. I was one of them in this circumstance, I think like just the sheer level of coincidence here is so <laughs> great that I would sooner believe this was like an illusion caused by some evil protection ward than that it was actually them. <laughs> huh, so Ike Ica loves huge chests, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah Ica. Oh, you're alive! Oh, we raised enough money to buy a boat, and we were gonna go looking for you as soon as we got the treasure, of course. Man, uh, how did it happen that Will's playing another red-haired lesbian? <laughs> in some... It's not my fault! Vice, I'm so glad you're all right. Oh. I'm here, too. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little emotional right now. I'm just so happy. I could Fina. Oh, I was so worried. I was gonna buy a boat. I was gonna buy a boat to look for you too. <laughs> well, look at you. On top of that, I didn't know that your partner was the cutie that I met in the seer. We're all together again, and this man is here. Wait, hold on. You were there and you didn't tell us. <laughs> you didn't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, now what? I mean, obviously it's a boss fight room. Come on, Vice. You act like you've never been in a dungeon before. Look, they've even got they got the markings on the ground so you can see where uh where the boss Mechanics? AoE telegraphs are gonna go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's two interlocked potatoes. <laughs> I bet we'll have nothing to say about this after this encounter ends. <laughs> God savvy, this Ike drawing is so funny. You <laughs> might still be up. Okay, good, you're here. <clears throat> I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad it's been uh, appreciated. Oh, I hate that you can't go back if you miss it. Right. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's do a glyph of speed. You're just gonna defend. <laughs> what she she's. Not strong. No, I know, it's just funny. Poor girl. Poor girl is not strong. Okay. And you are also gonna use a cliff of might. God, these are so useful. Let's try this. That's not a cat. These are Decat's owners. Oh my god. Here goes! Here goes! Yeah, this is a small arena too. This should work. I love how normal Gilder sounds so normal. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, they are attacking with laser beams. Oh, we're just gonna open with that, huh? Electrodes be like. <laughs> Everyone handled that very well, except just, one of you. I mean, Fina actually handled it about the best. She was guarding, but uh, you know how it is. <laughs> you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Okay. Uh, you're gonna use a Sacrum Crystal. You're gonna do nothing, and <laughs> Gilder is going to Gunsling. Uh, yep, that's all right. Oh, Jesus. We're, we're super buffed, and that's we're using the... Uh, uh, purple is like <laughs> wow. purple is crazy effective on red. Okay, now the fight's easy. Uh, if you don't wipe one of them in two or three turns, then they use this like combined super move that will pretty much guaranteed wipe out the girls and sometimes mm. vice. Oh wow! Yeah, no, this fight can be really hard if you're under leveled. It's fucking annoying. Wipes out the girls in sometimes vice, huh? <laughs> Depends how far along he is in his journey. Oh, got it. Yeah, just focus. Focus. 
focus and become red. Focus. Blah, blah. Cool last turn. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Good fight. Cool turn, shit heal. I'm dead. I want to wait and see if they acknowledge that in any way. They won't. It's it's a... Every fight that is not a human person, they're just like, yeah. It happens. Hold the gigas. All right, everyone out of my way. I'm getting that big chest. Why are you looking at me? Huh? Huh? No, what? Nothing. I just... Nothing. I just... I just love how big chests feel in my hands. <laughs> okay? I'm betraying you. This is all mine. <laughs> Let's see what the greatest air pirate of all time has to offer. Nine whole lives to gather treasure. Whoa. Bees? What's this? Oh. Bees? What the? <clears throat> An IOU? A piece of paper and a single gold coin? Brave souls that come seeking my treasure, do not be discouraged. You already have the most valuable treasures you in the world. <gasps> we do? Comrades trust and cooperation. The, Vice seems like the kind of guy to take this completely seriously. Really well, yeah. Uh, those are the only true treasures in this world. The cat. Friends we made along the way. God damn. <laughs> I don't believe this. That's it? No gems? No jewels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I didn't know Decat had such a great sense of humor. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. <laughs> a good laugh beats a bunch of gold any day. You know what? Since they did just get this like one day ago, that's fine. Can you imagine being that other guy who's been yeah, yeah. in like 50 years? <laughs> at least oh, you had well, friends. At least you had friends until they became a skeleton. <laughs> treasure has brought us all back together and friends are more important than any treasure uh you can have both yourself. you can have both i understand that friends are important but he could have at least threw in a little something <laughs> for our trouble no i guess straight up not having it first it was the lost city then it was the cat's treasure all of these old legends haven't paid off one bit i love like <laughs> <laughs> I bet the greatest air pirate of all time spent all of his gold while he was still alive. He can't take it with you, you know. Now we just have to find his IRA. Oh, some old bag of bones is in his grave laughing at us right now. We ran around like idiots the whole time, and we're still poor! <laughs> that chest's got to be worth something on its own, right? Oh, uh, we got the cat's coin. Uh... Thank you, Bethesda. Mm. Hold on. Let me give you my final true award. Ah, it's a scorpion! <laughs> they open it up and it's like the chest from holes just full of poisonous, poisonous lizards. Give us the friendship. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> uh, how about yeah? Uh Admiral, it is almost time. Everything is going according to plan. He just pivots and stares this guy directly in the eyes and says nothing. Excellent. With the modifications to our engines, we were able to pass through the Sky Rift. Our spies have reported that the Nasir fleet is guarding the strait. Nazrat is defenseless. We can take the capital without destroying it, sir. Uh, I think you mean the capital? <laughs> I suppose we could. But I want Nazrad burned to the ground. As you wish, Admiral. Okay, man. Begin the All attack right. on Nazrad. All vessels full speed ahead. Crashes into it. <laughs> yeah, they don't even shoot! They all I... just, like, crash! Obviously, that's obviously not what I meant. Obviously not what I meant. I'm Ugh. sorry, Admiral Resume. I'll kill you. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we're doing it ourselves, apparently. Crashes into Nazareth. 
You are an embarrassment to me. <laughs> the Sultan looks out. What the hell is happening? Up there? What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> I told that kid we were <laughs> undefeatable. Our great plan. <laughs> Luigi wins by doing nothing! Everyone misses, and then Gilder's like, fine, I'll deal with it. Gilder wins by doing everything. That'll do it, usually. Oh, uh, there's, there's one new move I haven't shown off. Skull shield! I don't ever use it, so... Whoa. 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 Oh my god. That's Takat, by the way. Oh. Oh. I mean, they've got the same weird chin. Yeah, yeah. Takat. Uh, it basically just gives you a single round of everyone gets an auto counterattack for all physical moves. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's, it's all right. It's not a bad move. Are there any others that I haven't shown? I mean, I haven't used any of Fina's. Because they're... Fina's are really yeah. designed to be like full party total heals, so they're really only for late game bosses. Yeah. You don't really use Fina's until you're rocking like 20 spirit a turn. <laughs> ah! Rain of Swords! I wish there I were... did it! I think we got a Moonberry, but I don't need it. This file's not real. I'm gonna be real? I'm just gonna be mad for a while. You're entitled to that. This file's I not. It's my right. Don't even, don't even show me that coin. I might, I might bite it. Damn. <laughs> Your girlfriends are weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, <laughs> why do you call them that? Yeah, you know, your gal pals. Red sky in the night. Take warning. <laughs> <laughs> Red sky in the night. Things aren't all right. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to find a bunch of gold so I could buy a big ship. I know. You just told me how upset you were. I've been saying it for like days. It's only been two hours since we found the treasure. Days! <laughs> well, if we all work together, perhaps you'll still be able to buy one, Aika. I don't know. But what I do know is, we all we did all it did together. together. <laughs> Friendship doesn't like buy a ship. Facial expressions. Thank you for the super Sh chat. Shit, oh. Pickle. Uh, oh, it's the Armada! Sh Skull Shield is vice showing off King Queen Crimson, sorry. <laughs> How'd they get here? We flew. Anyway, die. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wow. Well. Damn, not gonna be twinging that mustache for much longer. Oh, the royal palace. Oh my god, did they hit it? Looks like they're trying to make an example out of the seer. Vice, if we just stand around here, we're all dead. Head for the docks. <laughs> my man, he's like fucking bail. <laughs> I mean, what the hell are you supposed to do? Yeah, no, it's just great. Instead of being like, we should go help the royalty, he's like, nah, we're good. We don't, we're not friends with them. We Quick tried. to the friendship. We tried to tell them. Our ship, it's on fire. Fina, so you are here. Here's my oh. Sephiroth scene. Who will be the final boss of this game, I wonder? <laughs> I've been looking for you. Amiris? <gasps> Fina, you know him? Obviously. Did you lead this attack? Yes. From this day on, the seer belongs to the Valua Empire. And I will be taking you back to Valua. Surrender, or you all die. Vice, please do as he says. Fina? Please, you won't be able to defeat him. Not yet. Do as he says. Um, we're level 26? Are you? What are you thinking? No, I d don't do that one. Do the top one. I I'm even pointing at it. I'm, well, I'm I guess my sword's a little long, so it's hard to tell from your perspective, but from my perspective, I'm pointing at Surrender. Grr, 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 grr. All right. 
It, no, it's surrender. girl. You're so close. <laughs> A wise choice. <laughs> Capture the air pirates. Take them back to the Grand Fortress. It's funny, oh, like, on. I'm sure he's quite a strong fighter, but we're also standing right on the edge of the dock, and I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I, can't help but, I can't help but think that if they just bum rush him, they could shove him onto God, the abyss. You oh, fool. yeah, just one athletics check. One athletics check, and we got this. You fool. You think you could shove me off, but little do you know, I have a handful of feathers to prevent me from falling. Come on. Come on. God. Ramirez. Why are you doing this? <laughs> when, when Fina asks me why I do this, I sleep. <laughs> Welcome back. God. Oh yeah, Jello, you were there for my react, my raw reaction to being able to completely circumvent an encounter with pushing people off ledges. Mm. <laughs> well done, Galician. <laughs> Nasir was our only enemy with a navy. Now we rule the skies unopposed. Uh, we, we still do not have sound. I... Nothing changed. I didn't load anything. Also, when you say still, I was told you had sound for quite we a while. We did have sound. Okay. Nope. Couldn't hear you, Aram. We did have sound until you started this scene. Okay, that's not my fault then. There's just a problem yep. with Discord. Yep. Soon the whole world will bow before the might of Valua, and they will see me as their ruler. Is this still me? I mean, who wants Galcian since both of you seem to be here the whole time? Savvy can go. Go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yes, your highness. It is my understanding that the Sylvite girl and those air pirates had the moon crystals in their possession when they were captured. They should have destroyed them or thrown them into deep sky, but no, I guess they just kept them for some reason. Or even fucking buried them somewhere. I like wanted to sell them. All. That's I not a good to idea. I them. All right, that's not a good idea either. <laughs> Bring the girl and the crystals to me. As for those air pirates. Well, you ought to spend a lot. Oh. I want them executed in Lower City. I want the I people mustache. to witness their death. Some women have a mustache, okay? Don't point it out. I just, I just saw it. I will personally see to it that everything goes as you. For what it's worth, your majesty. I like you better with the mustache. <laughs> and this is Aram. Wait. <clears throat> out of my way, bitch. <laughs> I forget, was I doing this This is the Bill accent? voice! Okay, it was that sort of... Mother, I just heard that our fleet destroyed Nasrod while it was defenseless. How could you... Why did you have to murder so many innocent people? I know that we are acquiring more lands, but if we use these brutal tactics, the people will rise up and rebel against us. Please, we've made our point. Pull our troops out of Nasir. Silence, Enrique! It is Valua's destiny to span across the world and bask in the glory of the six moons. How do you expect us to conquer the world without a little bloodshed? But, Mother... How can you expect to inherit the throne of the Empire I worked so hard to build? You're too much of a coward. Remove yourself from my sight! Very well. I will go along with this. Bitch. Yeah, he got kind of a donk, though. Yeah, he well, does, Enrique... Yeah. Enrique got a bit of that, That's sweat. why I cast Aram as Because <laughs> <laughs> he's caked up. <laughs> Damn, Aram slays. I don't know why this, like, bugs me so much. It just 100% doesn't fit into my self-image of myself. Damn it, I've got a nice ass. <laughs> what? This, is, <laughs> this sucks. Oh, what's a man to do with a dumpy? <laughs> this is like, this is my, I relate to Vice's struggle. This is my dysphoria. <laughs> this, is my dysphoria. <laughs> this is my dysphoria. I wish I had a flat washboard ass. You, you know, it takes a big man to, to, to admit that your soul has a flat ass. <laughs> God. What what gender am I? Washboard. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Valua. 
It's always so dark and gloomy here. Yeah, especially when you're locked up in a jail cell. Valuans have no sense of hospitality. Hey, guards, can we get some food in here? How about a drink or something? Oh my god. So, uh... uh -huh. G genuine assault content warning coming up for this next oh. scene. I'm oh no, like, is, it, is are we gonna get it's, Admiral It's exactly what you think is about okay. to happen is about to happen. Oh, this is why I took this character so none of you would have to read this. Blessed. Bless you. I can't believe we're back in Valua. I wonder where Vice and Fina are being held. Is this where the air pirate girl is being held? You're not allowed in here anymore, sir. Oh, fuck you. God, I forgot that's what his hair looked like. I don't care who voices the guard. <laughs> yes, yes. Admiral Figueroa. Ah, but sir, what is it, sir? Hey, don't worry about it. Now run along and go make yourself useful somewhere else. Is it Vigoro? Well, Vigoro? I say Vigoro because it rolls Vigoro, like, like Figaro, here. but with a V. Mm. Um, well, what do we have here? Nice legs and curves in all the right places. <laughs> well, I suppose I've seen better, but she's not too bad. Who are you? Are you always this crude? I have teleported in front of you. <laughs> she's, po <laughs> she's posing at her aggressively. I'm Vigoro, the toughest man in the Armada. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. The women I've been with love to brag. I've never heard of you before in my life. Where are Vice and Fina being held? I so desperately want Gilda to just burst through the floor and yeah. kill him. Yeah. Get away from me, you creep! You're all sweaty and you've got a serious body hair problem. What's that smell? Aw, oh, come on, Red. You know I'm the man of your dreams. <laughs> Uncomfy camera ankle. I'm, I'm just gonna play this straight because he's a villain yeah. and we're about to kick his ass, so... Nice. Mm. We were meant to be together. I'm sure you'll grow to like me. Just give me a chance. Ah! Yuck, you're disgusting! Yeah, that's probably not what she said in Japanese. This is shaping up to be a great day. Let's see, so far we got captured, separated from Ica and Fina, and we lost all of the crystals. And what's next? Maybe they'll torture us. Perfect end to a perfect day. <laughs> Kids, could you lighten up a little? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. not like so your friend's getting assaulted by the worst character in the game. <laughs> Vice, you're only making things worse. Take it easy. Hmm? <laughs> Hello. Where are they? Oh. Oh, Willie, how you doing? Croissant. Very bad. <laughs> Very bad. Croissant. <laughs> <Crusoe, laughs> <Crusoe, laughs> <Crusoe, laughs> <laughs> Ha! General Scales, eh? Is that so? <laughs> well, you had to fly all the way over here. I'm not surprised. Gilder, there's a note tied to Willie's leg with a piece of wire. We will begin bombarding the fortress at midnight and will await your arrival just outside. The Claudia. <laughs> ah, this isn't the first time my men have had to break me out of a prison. They know the routine. Well, the Claudia may not be able to destroy the Grand Fortress by herself, but she'll cause quite a bit of commotion. That's when we can make our escape. Exactly. But there's still one problem. I'm we Vice. We need to get out of this cell. But there's still two problem. Shh. We need to get out of this cell. Anyway, yeah. Gilder's the best. <laughs> I see we're thinking along the same lines. Leave that to me. There was a wire around Willie's leg for a reason. I'll have this door open in no time. Of course. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? What's this? What's wrong? Well, there's some writing on the back of this letter. Oh? Well, what does it say? To my darling Gilder, I will fight for your freedom as well. For you, my love. Vice, I think we should stay in jail. Your soulmate, <laughs> Clara. And there's lipstick marks at the bottom. Clara! She's here too. Oh, well, according to this letter, yeah. Oh! <laughs> I thought he just ate it. He's like, "Well, oh, we can't yeah, get out." I'm glad, I, I'm glad I had the right read on where this scene was going. You vice! You don't, 
really need to break out of here, do we? What are you talking about? We'll be hanged. Mm, being hanged, being stuck with Clara. Tough choice. Ah, uh, oh well. God, I love Gilder. Squeaky. Wow, I'm impressed. The fact that he does that bit after having already opened the door and he's like, all right, it's fine. And then leans back and opens it. Willie, tell the men to wait for me with a barrel of loqua. I think I'm gonna need it. I, I, separately. I, 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 I. Willie, <laughs> who's the protagonist of the Super Monkey Ball franchise? I, I. <laughs> no. Well then, what do you say when you're leaving? Bye, bye. Well then, I'll grab our weapons. Let's go. <laughs> Let's not forget about Ika and Fina. I'm not leaving without them. Willie, like bring me two teas, but in India. Chai, chai. <laughs> Luckily, Willie, what happens if we uh, we're both hanged and we don't get out of here in time? <laughs> die, die. <laughs> There's even a dusty. Obviously, what are little girls doing? They find out. Cry, cry. When do we get to put Vigoro for a mandolin legs first? Oh, uh, real soon. Good. Ah! Hey, that sounded like Ika. Don't we we get there in time? Don't worry. Okay, good. Thank that God. was not a heavy quotes tasteful cutaway. We're, we're we get there in time. Let's shoot these guys. They're just guys. Ow! They got they got nothing. They just fucking guys. Damn. Yeah, I'm really overleveled. Well done. I congratulations. I love this theme, this dungeon theme. I super read that as like prisoner block, 200 gold. I was like, you gotta pay gold. To you use gotta the pay elevator? gold if you want to be in jail here. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't that just be like value? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I do love how, like, so in case it wasn't obvious, uh, if you remember that rotating thing, uh, we're inside that, and that's this dungeon, which I think oh, is really cool. cool. I like that you get to escape from Valua twice, from the same place, but in extremely different ways, so it doesn't feel boring. That's cool. Hey, Ika, do you want us to come back later? I genuinely have no read on this situation. Vice, get this creep off of me! <laughs> hey, beat it, kid. Sorry to spoil your fun, but you heard the lady. Who said we were having fun? Yes, I do have a chastity lock on my dick, and yes, the key is around my neck. I am Vigoro. No woman in Valua can resist me physically. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. I believe that the worth of a man can be measured by his popularity with the women. Kill or don't, I'm not gonna make you say that. I don't like that, I should remember that for later. Which is to say, when you're on trial, it'll be yeah. really useful test. I'm, yeah, I'm taking this down. No. I'm a witness. Where's Fina? Give us back the crystals and bring Fina here. Fina? Oh, the Sylvite. Ramirez escorted her to the Imperial Palace. Is that so? Well, after we beat the <laughs> snot out of you, we'll be rescuing her. Chat, have I mentioned I have a thing for women? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when women talk tough. Let me give Long. your friends a lesson in brute force. I wish to feed you through a sausage meat grinder. Please tell me he canonically dies in the story. I have terrible news. Mm. Is this um is this our first time fighting an, an admiral? admiral yeah. Personally? This is the uh this is the admiral boss fight theme and this is where it is it is done. I don't know why. We, like, I'm glad we get to beat the shit out of him immediately, but, uh... Dude, I still... <laughs> I still can't believe that line from Trapped of, Did I mention I have a thing for women? <laughs> what a fucking absolutely insane line. 
That's from, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Which one of the traps It's the third was one. That? It's Escape. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, I have a thing for women. God, it really is this character, isn't it? I hate this move. Does it, like, have a chance to inflict? Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. Which, don't like that. What a... No good. <clears throat> Purple or red? I can't tell. I think he's red. Pretty, yeah, he's either red or orange, but I don't think orange is a color. Orange is not a color. Not, orange isn't real. <laughs> orange doesn't exist. So obviously we're gonna finish this guy off with Ica. Yeah, absolutely. Bonk. It's okay. I'm gonna ignore that that just happened. Because it only did 70 damage. Here, take some of my res respect women juice so that you'll respect yourself a little more. He's like if Zook from XD got into Andrew Tate. <laughs> Jesus. Hey! 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 hey Moscow, Moscow. Stay purple, pony boy. Hmm. Abanka. I'm thinking here. Oh, Jesus, the backhand. So is this guy, like, essentially meant to be a pretty easy fight? Because he looks pretty easy. He's pretty easy. This should work. Come How? on, Ika. You made my peck itch. I don't like that, like, the top of his shoes... Ah. No, wait, is that actually his skin? Is he only wearing, like, toes on his feet? I think he's just got weirdly large, like, heels in his model. Yeah, something's going on with his, his feet and don't look right. Oh, no, okay, the part you're looking at are cuffs of his shoes, I'm Oh, they sure. are? Okay, I thought that was just skin. He's like, my ankles skin. are yeah. huge. <laughs> These are from the women I've conquered. <laughs> I have a thing for ankles. Oh, come on. Huh, as if I could be defeated by a woman. Alright, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'd just use this in case she got... No, Vice Nap! How could this be? by a woman! I, I know it still counts as being defeated by a woman, but I wanted Ika to do it. No, I get ya. She just deals so little damage. Oh, Ika. Ay, ay, Ika. Huh. Looks like you were all talking. Oh, God, it looks like he just has a massive dick. <clears throat> Is that supposed to be a pouch, or is that actually it's like, a supposed lock. to be like a cod piece? It's like, oh. it's literally like a chastity lock. Maybe they, like, after too many incidents, they forced him to wear that as like an extra measure of protection. I don't know. I thought yeah. you were 100% just making no. that up before. No, he and... has a key around his neck, and there is a padlock on his dick. That's just, that's something we have to accept as being there. <laughs> this is the world we were given. Well... You got lucky, and I didn't have my cannon, uh, my armor. On Pirate Isle, where I was raised, we have a saying. Don't rape people. <laughs> a true man never makes excuses for his shortcomings. And going by what's by that saying, you've got quite a ways to go. <laughs> you've got an attitude. I like that. You'll be seeing me again soon. You could count on it. God, so we're cutting man. his throat, right? Before we we should. Leave. We should kill him. Just Wait. God, hate man. Same kind of bed that Gilder and I had. Guess the Valuans don't believe in treating ladies like ladies. 
Yeah, uh, right. When the game is there for you. All right, set this room on fire, and here we go. Yeah, all right, only didn't cut his throat because I wanted to give him a more panic-inducing and horrific death. <laughs> kind of small lock, not gonna lie. <laughs> no. Mm. Uh, Savvy and Aram. Mm-hmm. A lot the value in armor section. looks so silly. I love it. <laughs> so, this is where the air pirates are being held. Yes, Prince Enrique. I wish to speak to them. Or with them. Take me to them. Sir, perhaps it would be best for you to wait out here. The cell is not fitting for one of your stature. Your ass, it won't make it. It won't make it. I'll get the other guards. We you will could bind the prisoner and bring them to you. You could run it across the bars and make a jaunty prison to <laughs> I got the big ass, big ass blues. <laughs> well, I'll finally get to meet the legendary air pirate Vice. If the rumors that I've heard are true, he'll look like a demon and spit fire. What? But my instincts are telling me that he's fighting for all the right reasons. Prince Enrique. Oh wait, Prince Enrique, it's an emergency! Oh, so I guess Sorry, I should give I a shit. I just <laughs> thought about how bad this was, actually. <laughs> I found Admiral Vigoro unconscious in one of the cells, but that's not the bad part, the rest of the cells are empty! Should we kill him, sir? <laughs> should we oh. kill him? We have an oh. opportunity. It appears um, that Vice and the others have escaped. Honestly, this is a perfect opportunity to just lock him up. Yes. What? I said we could kill Vigoro. Yeah, yeah, I, sh shut the sh fuck up first. I gotta think about this. Let me think about this. Yeah. I see. They're trying to escape from the Grand Fortress again. Listen carefully. Do not tell anyone about this. Keep the doors to this area closed. Don't let anyone in or out. If you are questioned about it later, tell them that it was a direct order from me. Understand? Yes, your majesty, but... Don't say well bother on me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here. There's an urgent matter that I must attend to. You damn boy, you shit with that ass. <laughs> What's your pronouns? What's your pronouns? Don't get cheeky with me. Hmm. <laughs> I I love this dungeon. I think this dungeon is so cool. This is the one I was like, I'm not, I'm not skipping any of this. I just think conceptually it's too cool to skip. Cool. <clears throat> Man, I'm really impressed with this game. We get to like new environment. Uh, obviously we're doing a lot of fast forwarding, but we like get to brand new areas very frequently. Yeah, no, you're never, even if you're not fast forwarding, you're <clears throat> never in the same place for more than like two hours. What the, this cannon's new and it's huge. This thing is big enough to wipe out an island. And we can run through the barrel to the other side. <laughs> How about fucking no? We can, wait, look down there. We can shoot James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened to Gilder? Hi, I'm James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get moving. Hey, where did you go? Uh, the traitor arc. I just had to take care of something. Don't worry about it. My uh, my men should get out of this dump. We're about to attack. <laughs> you gun gun. I I love this. I love this as a set piece. Yeah, very cool. You have to outrun a cannonball. <laughs> Whoa. So, here we are on the outside of the Grand Fortress. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Dude, a remake of this would fucking Dude, slap. Do you, you understand kidding? why every Skies of Arcadia fan is like, please, please? <laughs> like, it's, it's also been long enough that it's like, it might as well be a new game. Yeah, So like straight up. Why not? It's, oh, it's such a cool god. setup. There's like a... Yeah, I. Oh my, Sega, you if, dumbasses! If this gets remade, 
in in the same vein as like the the Resident Evil remakes, the the yeah, uh, you know, just all the Dead Space remakes, just all the remakes that have been coming out recently. I am insta buying it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I I would want them to maintain this like very anime style, um, hmm. and I I don't need it to look like crazy graphically. I just yeah, it's it's mostly just like environment stuff. I'd love them to be able to do because like obviously you can see like. It's kind of like looking at a really nice Roll20 map where you're like, obviously you can see the seams because of the engine it's built in, but like at the same yeah. time, it's like, really wow, you're doing a really good job with what you've got. Also, there is something in the middle of this dungeon that made me go, I literally can't believe they made a model out of that. God, can you imagine how gorgeous, even even like with simplified, like more stylistic graphics like this, how gorgeous it would be to sail through the yeah. environments. Yeah. And then like, honestly, you could, some of the changes you can make is removing random encounters and just do like enemies in the world. Yeah, I actually would not be against literally no enemy encounters in the overworld when you're on your ship, because it it, de it yeah. makes exploring annoying, which it shouldn't be, because it's one of the coolest parts of the game. I don't mind the enemy encounter rate when I'm in a dungeon. Oh, yeah. Zero. Like, it's a little high, but it's not noticeably high. Though, actually, thank you for saying that and reminding me to uh, put that back on Vice so the section goes a little faster. Gilder can be our DPS, that's fine. Ooh, we've got Sylvite rings. Those are good. Ooh. They they prevent instant death. Oh, that is nice. Uh, I believe you have to go up first. Oh, what? Anyway. Whoa. Someone in chat. I'll be real. This game has me thinking of a new D&D campaign. Yeah, fair. Yeah, do it. Steal... Just steal the setting outright. I love that Gilder's crew is like, well, I guess this is the jail our boss is in. Time to bombard the Grand Fortress. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My men are right on time, but we're running a little late. Good thing you weren't later. So, they would just be deaf. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe that's that's actually why the value in uh, our armor is like that, because they have to fit in safety headphones <laughs> underneath the helmet. Honestly. <laughs> oh, look at that firepower. Hey, what about Clara? I'm sure she can hold her own. I think. Bro. Oh, man, this. Bro, you do not want to be standing there. What? It's, it's to the side. Don't worry, I'm sure explosions don't exist. Yeah, this, well, this kind of looks like a... Uh oh It's a joke I... Whoa! Oh. <clears throat> that cannon we ran through, it just exploded! The explosion took out that whole area. They won't be putting that fire out anytime soon. Oh, fuck, I hope we didn't miss any chests there. Ha! I, um, left them a little present. <laughs> you two ready? Here's where the real fun begins. This is where the fun begins. I love Gilder. It's like, yeah, I'll bomb a cannon in the Grand Fortress. It'll be funny. <laughs> They're all over me! Whoa. Running. This set piece is just so cool. It's a great setup. I, I love that you go to Valua like twice very early <laughs> and both times like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so fucking mad. Ramirez. Ramirez, why? Why are you fighting for the Valuans? What about the, our orders? What about the elders? Ants. You think I listen to boomers? Lord Ramirez, it's an emergency! Oh, I totally blanked. One of our cannons exploded and the entire deck is on fire! But no enemy shells hit that area! What the hell are you all doing in that hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Calisthenics, sir! 
Find out the cause of the fire and report back to me. In the meantime, stop firing and set the fortress in defensive mode. There are only two or three ships attacking. Their effect on the wall will be minimal. Yes, sir! I fight for Lord Galcian. That is all you need to know. I don't know why I came in here. Goodbye. Ramirez. Oh yeah, that is true. He walked in, did not say anything that had anything to do with his agenda. He was looking for the bathroom. I, uh, That's what all those guards I outside want, were doing. I wanted to use the Imperial bathroom, but I'm afraid Lord Enrique needs his extra, extra wide toilet. <laughs> The throne. I can hear I wanted someone to talking. use the Imperial bathroom. Unfortunately, my ass is metric. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, remain calm. The Grand Fortress isn't about to crumble under the firepower of a few ships. Anyone who deserts his post will have to deal with me personally. Oh no, that'd be so <laughs> bad. Oh, oh, that's yes. a threat. Oh. Yes, Admiral Ramirez. In just, a fight, right? Just kills this guy. <laughs> I will go investigate the cause of the explosion. Two of you stay here and guard the girl. The rest of you, follow me. Die. Yes! Die. Yeah. I don't know why he I said that. A little. He really had to go to the bathroom. Now he's got to hold it. Everyone with me. I don't like being in there alone. I... Some in people re can't pee if they're... There's another man at the urinal. I require a urinal, buddy. Should we... Should we? Should we? Do we Man, get him? I can't see on my he's, fucking he's helmet. Approaching. No, wait, he stopped. I think we're good. Okay, yeah. He's May, stopped. no! <laughs> May, no! He's coming back! <laughs> oh, God! He tripped the wire! I think. I think that's Vice. God, he's even further now. I don't know. God, he's even more handsome than I thought he'd be. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Fuck! Oh! It was Vice! <laughs> Here I go! Oh. Did you just like a tenth tenth bonk the damage? Me? He is guarding. Hey, Gilder, I saw you aim for the dick. I saw that. I mean, we've been shown that Valuans don't know how to use them responsibly. Besides, it's still a headshot. If you shoot their dick, they'll be fired from the Armanda. All that easy. <laughs> I guess that's not true. They allow they allow trans men. You don't need a penis. You just need to be a male. That's all they work here. You found the harbor key. Did you guys see that somebody came up with? The, the fucking trans inclusionary misogynist, the person Tim. Or was that one of us? Tim. We are Tims. No, that's that's Chad. <laughs> Bina! We came to get you out of here. Boys! We got here as soon as we found out where you were. Are you okay? Thank yes, you I am. Thank you. It's strange. The first time you rescued me from the train, I was really surprised to see you. But this time... I knew you would come for me. I knew you'd find me. <laughs> oh, Fina. After all we've been through together, I swear on my oath as a blue rogue that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. I know. Whoa! <laughs> this is Whoa. my facial expression. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a girl! Whoa, good one. <laughs> Good one, Vice. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa Aaron, one. careful. Are you reading for killer frequency? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Vice. I didn't know you were so smooth with the ladies. Getting jealous, I guess. I bet you wish that Vice would say stuff like that to you. I don't need to hear him say those things. I don't know. or I know he would do the same for me. Well, yeah, which is it? You shut down my tease with pure feeling, and I'm, I just have no counter to that. I'm utterly disarmed. Uh, I have to leave the party. Turnabout is fair play, I guess I'll fuck yes, off. Yes, I'll fuck <laughs> off. Whenever I'm in trouble, I have faith, faith that Vice will always be there to save me. He already saved me once today. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Are you okay, by the way, for real? No, I'm The, the way his expression changed, so that was like, ah, good point. 
Man, I, you just made me remember that guy existed and I got mad again. <laughs> <laughs> Can we save the mushy stuff for later? We just broke out of prison and we're still in value up. All right. But how exactly are we going to get out of here? Well, since we're in the Grand Fortress, there should be value in ships docked all over the place. We can borrow one of those. We should be able to reach the docks from the bottom floors of the fortress. We'll have to backtrack a little, but we should be okay. So we'll take the elevator back down and look for a ship. All right, let's go. Polycule, poly... I, I told you guys, as this game goes on, I don't normally go, yeah, polycule makes sense here. Oh, this is the Admiral room, by the way, Aram. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's that trope I like. Yeah. And when the first time you told me you liked this, this was the example I gave you. Although it's very rare for that to be fulfilled this early. This early in the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's the LB? Oh, there it is. That's also cool to know that, like, the Admiral Hangout is in the big wall. Yeah. yeah. Must be annoying to get there. The, uh, yeah. just context for chat because it's something that's near and dear to my heart the the trope that i'm referring to is um i really like in games when earlier in the game you get to see you get a, like a cutscene set in like the bad guy's lair or you know some some place that you associate only the bad guy with being there and then much later in the game, you get to like go there as the protagonist and be like, "Oh, and you know, you point like this is the this is the room, this is the table that we're all sitting around." It's oh it's just God. It's a good like, oh, look at how far we've come moment. Except in this case, we haven't actually come that far. <laughs> I uh, I love this next scene if it's the one I th I'm thinking of when we wrap. Oh, up. sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. No, you're good. I just didn't want to, uh, didn't want to. I also wanted to give Savvy time to come back so he could see it, but I don't think that'll happen. I'm so mad. What's going on? Hey, look! Huh? What are we looking at? The fortress oh. is turning. Fortress is rotating. Now's our chance. We should find a ship and get out of here. So when I was setting this up, I was like, surely since I'm walking this way and go right in this room and there's no other way to go, they wouldn't have modeled the full turn. But no, it's a whole model and oh it goes all the way around if you sit here for like two minutes. Jesus wow. Christ. What the fuck? I don't know why they did all this. They super didn't have to. It just adds so much spectacle. Yeah, because, like, it's even behind you, so you... You we... literally might not even look at it. And they could have very easily just been like, let's go inside and in the cutscene had you run over. Anyway, here's a stealth segment. Oh, good. If you want. I mean, it's just that there's no random encounters unless you get hit by a spotlight and they're like... Oh! <laughs> I was about to say comedically easy to dodge. I was waiting for it to reset so I could run past it, but uh, I'm Boo Boo the Fool today. Shade always procs. I thought that was. See, if you hadn't said that, I would have given you the benefit of the doubt to just be no, like. No, it was oh, not showing, showing off, off a mechanic. Showing off the mechanic. <laughs> they also. Uh, you don't want to get caught in the bottom right because they do spawn there. So you can get stun locked for oh. a little bit. Uh, it's a little annoying. Hmm. Um, don't worry about it. Forget about it. For Google gobble. It means hey, no worries. For Bimp was spawned. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just... I get a bit. Just. And a little bit of makeup. Skip noise. Skip it. Skip it. Yeah, see. It. Yeah. Well, see, like, it comes into the room that way, so I was thinking that when it came back around, it wouldn't hit the door like it did. Mm. Oh, sure. Yeah, see, like, that one doesn't go all the way to the edge. Cheater. Welcome home, cheater. Moonberry. Moonberry. Cheater, cheater. Moonberry. Wider than a Whoa. mile. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Nope. Oh, uh -oh. I got caught on the railing. Nah, you're good. 
Damn, I wasted so much time. Dude, this is fucked up. Restart the whole fucking playthrough. This is embarrassing. Run is dead. Yeah. What are we even gonna do? Anyway, it's Civil and Bane. What's up, man? Why are you here? Hey. Yeah, oh, I just uh, just hanging out on the Grand Fortress. I I don't know what's going on. Man. Are you in trouble? Do you need help? I'm Zibel and Bane. Nice to meet you. This is my gun. Is it? I'm sorry. Did I miss who this is? Is this? A it's person? it's like a mimic. They they just show oh, up okay, once okay. in every dumb uh, every dungeon. Dungeon. <laughs> so it was, you touch the chest and he attacks. Yeah. yeah. More like dungeons and dragons in my right filthy. I'm back, but I'm gonna be mute while I munch some cereal. You missed, uh, the fortress starts turning into defensive mode, and they modeled it doing that, the whole thing, and you can just sit there and watch it turn. Bloody hell. Why'd you do that? Does that impact, like, uh, events later on if it, you just let it close while you're looking at it? Nope. No? Okay, makes not, sense. Not that I could find. Unholy dagger. That's not equipable. Um. Yeah, you'd think, right? That sounds like a cool little little stab thing. Okay, we're good. Banana, na 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 na. Oh, you frickin' banana bean. We'll have this be savvy as well. Or you know, it can be yam because Galcian. What? Never mind. It doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It okay. has nothing to say. I'm sorry, yam. How could I ever forgive you after this? So. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I don't deserve it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> so, you know what would be a really weird enemy to be weak to a really specific thing that almost no other boss in the game is weak to? Oh, uh, yeah, you could use a you could use a power up crystal too. Sure. Who cares? I don't know. So we got the uh, Gilf of Might the uh, uh, power up. Gilf of Might? Glyph, leave me alone. Ooh. My grandpa, who I want to... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, your grandpa? So, uh, what if you could put the tank to sleep? What? There's Why? A, there's a guy in there, I assume. He fucking hates oh. this job. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, this is also fire-powered for some reason. Anyway, die. I want to give a shout out for this game for having a boss where the fucking special effects it does something rather than every boss in, a, in an RPG being like, I'm immune to every effect. Uh, yeah. Most of them are immune to like every effect, I will tell you. Man, that's not doing the right amount of damage. Hang on, what? No, you're red. That should be doing more. Oh, it's because in my other run, I hit him with Drill Nose. And in my other run, I already had Vice's last move. So I could just use that. <laughs> no! That's okay. That's okay. Is it's just, it? Let's just <laughs> keep putting him to sleep because who gives a shit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit? I guess this guy, too. Do you have Drillin'? Yeah! Drillin'! Let's try this! Well, alright, don't put him to sleep first. Wake up, idiot! Go, 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 go! This does hurt a lot. <laughs> oh! That's fine. Some... Oh, yeah. Something's gotta be able to kill us, right? <laughs> like... I guess a tank makes sense. That's fine. Alright, calm down, music. It's fine. We're doing fine. We're fucked! We're so fucked! What are you, me? Ooh. Okay, we're, we're fine now. We're fucked! <laughs> what is solid, solid jello impression. <laughs> this is so fucked up and rude. My, 
<laughs> Miles, I can't remember your name. I have amnesia. <laughs> I have amnesia. <laughs> that line fucks me up so bad. It's so funny to just open with someone's name and then be like, I don't know your name. <laughs> yeah. Incredibly I funny. I have amnesia. <laughs> Also, like, the enthusiasm, like, oh, no, I have amnesia. <laughs> oh, no, the alarm. Ah, uh, this isn't good. In a few seconds, this place is going to be crawling with guards. Uh, this is also Quick. you, Aram. Yeah. Get on the lift. Someone is telling us to get on that thing. I, I can't see who it is. Vice, what should we do? If we stand around here, we're gonna get caught anyway. We should take the lift. That's true. Looks like that's our only option. All right, let's go. Will the series have a video? You're looking at it. <gasps> Damn, he do got like a rump. It's it's because in Valua, everyone's got those like their style of pants folds out at the hips, but also there might be an ass in there. <laughs> he got I mean, that's their excuse to like make it so that Enrique doesn't feel. Enrique you know, hates his he he also hates his huge ass and is very embarrassed by it. So to make him feel better, the as a man, Galsin was like, I can't have one of my dudes feeling low. Everyone in the military wear the fat ass pants. <laughs> if everyone has a fat ass, no, no one, one does. <laughs> and and when everyone's caked up, no one no. will be. <laughs> so your vice. I'm Enrique. Enrique, you're, you're the Prince of Valua? You're the prince? <laughs> well, that was a... <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> After you escaped from your cells, I figured you'd head for the docks to try and steal a ship. Please, follow me. Whoa, that's not going to be hard. All right, what's going on? <laughs> Why is the prince helping us? <laughs> this, it's like in Metal Gear Solid where you have to ID <laughs> Mero by her ass. I have no idea that we probably should follow him. It's hypnotic. I can hear you. God, it's clapping from there. Good e lord. Echoing it's in like, the halls. It's just like two cymbals crashing into one another. All right, guys, calm down. <laughs> what the? A lot of dude prob in here tonight, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> brushing up against uh, the limits of what Amy will tolerate. <laughs> You've probably already figured out that we're on the bridge of a ship. Say the hello ship. to the Delphinus, the newest member of the Armada. This is my Delphina. personal flagship. Delphinus? Delphinus. Delfino Plaza. It is yeah, heavily so armored know. and can still match the top speed of our cruisers, and it is equipped with the weaponry of a heavy battleship. It's amazing. This ship is the prototype. Soon, we'll begin building a whole fleet of Delphinus-class ships. Valua plans to use these ships to take over the world. Of course. <laughs> Chat, there's a ship? I can't stop looking at uh, something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to the old-timey, like the thing you see in Titanic. Yeah. yeah. With a whole fleet of ships like this, Valua would easily be able to take over the world, especially since Nasrat has fallen. So, your royalness, there's still one thing that I can't figure out. Why would you help us escape, then take us to the bridge of your flagship? Gone through a lot of trouble just to show off. Yeah, Gilder has a good point. Dude, my mom sucks. God, I'm blonde. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I... I want you to take this ship, and I want you to take me with it. What? Take me right now! Are uh, you serious? Yeah. Valua has been taking over other countries by force, destroying their lands and murdering the innocent. As a prince of the Valuan Empire, all of the innocent blood spilled by the Armada is on my hands. I've done all that I can to convince the Empress and Galcian that what Valua is doing is wrong, but I cannot convince them to change their ways. Everything I've tried has failed. I'm powerless to stop them. My only chance for redemption is to aid you. Huh. I'm surprised this is happening this early in the game, but I'm yeah. here for You it. keep saying Wait. that. <laughs> I know, right? I guess I don't actually know how far we are into this We're game. We're about halfway. 
Okay, because you've skipped a lot off screen, so it still feels like we're super early, but we're probably not we're, that. We're still, early. like, this is pretty early story-wise. The yeah. the second half of the game has a lot more gameplay and less cutscenes, um, mm. but yeah. Please, take me with you. I'll even go with you as a hostage. Uh -huh. Of course you can come with us, but there is one problem. The Blue Rogues don't take hostages. If you want to sail with us... Did you know we're 80,000 feet in the air? <laughs> <laughs> and before you uh, react to my proposal, remember, we are, looks out the window, in a building. <laughs> like 40 feet up? Still, want... still like neck-breaking height, though, so you know. Consider. <laughs> if you want to sail with us, you must do so as a blue rogue. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that's right. No prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> No Thank wait! <laughs> I will do my part as a member of your crew. You could be our um inspiration. <laughs> he's he's holding out his hand, camera zooms out, he's just grabbing an ass. <laughs> <laughs> From that think, distance. It's, it's would you huge. be alright? Would you be alright? Like we so we don't take hostages. How would you feel about being our figurehead? We just stick you say. right out front of the window, you know, facing forward. <laughs> It, I have no problem with it, except I will definitely reduce our uh, streamlined effectiveness as a boat. <laughs> you know, I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. It is an honor to be a member of your crew, Vice. Deep sigh for some reason. I think he said I. Oh, did he? Okay. Enrique's voice is silly. Oh. I never would have thought that I'd be riding in the same ship as a Valuan, let alone the Prince of Valua. But the crystals are still in the hands of the Valuans. Yes, you're right. Well, technically, you are right. What? I. Have <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Enrique <laughs> kind of pulls, honestly. <laughs> I stole them before. You'll I came never to the guess box where box I've hidden it. <laughs> <laughs> Takes them out of his jacket. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think? You just pat This is all natural, baby. Wow. I stole them before I came to the docks to find you. I was going to destroy them. You should destroy <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps it would be best if I returned them to you. Please oh, I just them. gave myself a headache. Holy <laughs> shit. Can, can we wash them first? I oh hate my you guys. God. <laughs> he just reaches back. You hear like a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, rewarded every time. <laughs> wow. Oh Enrique, you've done so much for us already. Thank you. I didn't know there was a brown crystal. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Kills you. <laughs> you act an awful lot like an air pirate for a prince. All right. Start the engines. Let's take the Delphinus and get out of here. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh, it feels so good to be able to just laugh as loud as I like. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. shit. Anyway, here's our bitch in new boat. <laughs> Let's go! What the fuck? We just have this now? So you know how in most RPGs you get an airship about halfway through? Since you start in an airship, this one's like, what if we give you the best airship on the planet? <laughs> Yo, that fucking rules! What? Let's go, Delphinus! Full speed ahead! Also, I'll tell you there's more cool shit in this session that we haven't seen yet. What the fuck? Damn, I mean, we must be close to as far as you've played, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I still have nine save slots to go through, but they're all just oh. teleporting around. Love the purple accent on the bottom. Yeah, very cool. Make it so, number one. Gonna be real? Don't know what these buttons do. Warp 9. Engage. Star Nokia. Off. Engage. Fire Emblem. Engage. Com computer. <laughs> and, um, fuck, I was about to do that AI prompts joke, but I can't. <laughs> oh, God. 
Xbox. Kill. This is such a big ship. Mm hmm. He sealed off the entrance. I wouldn't worry too much about the fortress. Spot where I blew up the cannon should be weak. Man, we can't. How are we going to have them escape from the Grand Fortress twice? Well, the first time we obviously need they need to get out before it closes. Oh, uh, second time they just blow through it. <laughs> and if this ship's got the firepower that the prince said. We should be able to blast our way out. Well, here goes. Ship battle against Im yes. immovable object. Yes. Ooh. You can tell. You can tell it it's a valued ship man. because yeah. because of the dick analogy. Oh, uh, we have sound. Good, good. We have sound. We have sound. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm not kidding. I, I gave myself like a pretty wicked headache from oh, that. Oh no! Oh my god. You'll have oh. a minute to go grab some ibuprofen or something uh, in a second. Uh, I think our son just died. Uh, I love this I happening for no reason. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did it! I can't believe it! We just broke through the Grand Fortress! You sure know how to break in a new ship. Now we can finally continue our search for the other moon crystals. Well, Valua, looks like this is goodbye for now. I like the prince. He's like... Yeah. En Enrique wow. is, in my mind, the fourth party member. Because you only get to have one. I'm so fucking mad. No one showed up to my Tip, birthday. I am so fucking mad. I'm... The bathroom is still occupied. If I move, I will pee. <laughs> Imagine if Gilder's just like, So this is half my boat, right? <laughs> God. We did it! We escaped from the Grand Fortress! Twice! Yes, and I'm happy that we're all together again. This is some video game ass <laughs> BGM. <laughs> Look at his face. Some of us are happier than others. Oh, Guild, I'm so happy. I'll never let you go. Out of one prison, into the next. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Gilder? You guys make a cute couple. I'm very happy for you, Clara. Oh, thank you, Fina. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. I'm really starting to miss that jail cell in Valua. <laughs> well, mm. since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Even though this is my ship, I am not an experienced sailor. I would feel more comfortable with someone else at the helm. I know who I'd cast my vote for. DeLoco. <laughs> Vice. You're the best girl for the job. I agree with Ika. I would feel the most comfortable with you as our captain. I know that I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you would make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, Vice, and a good leader. I think you'd make a great captain. Well, it seems unanimous. Vice, will you accept the responsibility of being captain of the Delphinus? <laughs> so like, no, nope, uh, it seems unanimous. I guess I'll run it. Enrique <laughs> gets the yeah. deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I won't let you down. I believe in the principle of one man, one vote. I am the man, and I have the vote. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Besides, wasn't it your dream to be the captain of your own ship someday? Oh yeah, the Delphinus is going to need a new flag. You're right, Ika. Every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. We start working on one now. The Delphinus should have a flag as soon as possible. I have an idea. Nah. <laughs> 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 uh, me a second. You're right. I think Vice, Ika, and Fina should get together and design our new flag. Being a Prince of Valua, I don't think it's my place to design an air pirate's flag, but I can judge any ideas that you have. Make sure to 
cut out the the thing completely correctly in the mini game in order to get the maximum points. <laughs> what? You want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It'll be fun. Just give it a try. I would love it. Like an MS Paint drawing. Yeah, her her flag is just a smiley face. <laughs> hey, Vice. Uh, I want to take a look around the Delphiness. I'm Vice. I think we all should. We should split up and check out the ship. Something's wrong with it. Better to find out now rather than in the heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everyone. Meet back at the bridge when you're done. When you're done. When you're done. Takes more than that to kill a bug. I see you. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, real quick. Moonberry. Secret Moonberry. Uh, let's check out our fucking bitching new ship. And, like, we just have this now. This is ours. This is ours forever. Wow, that wow. rules. Um, Vice, I've, uh, I found a strange issue with the ship. There's only what men's the bathrooms? <laughs> Why are the emergency supplies up there? I think in case something gets shot, uh, they're everywhere all over the ship. Okay. I, th I think we can read these. There's only the one line of dialogue per character. And they're all named characters. Never mind, it won't let me talk to him again. So be it. Fucked. It's a talking tube, just like the ones we used on the Albatross. This one is probably connected with the bridge. Hey, Vice, this is Gilder. Oh, sorry. Hey, Vice, this is Gilder from the bridge. Where are you at? Oh, uh, no, fine, don't answer my question. Where I hear you walking away from the frog. tube. <laughs> I hear you sped up singing Snake Eater down that ladder. Hey, I'm just Gilder, imagining... tell me if this is loud. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining the fucking sound of cr going down a ladder at that speed. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Your head hitting <laughs> every step. <laughs> uh, so, chat, we don't get to make a flag. You get to choose between three. And I will let you choose, though uh, I had to play beyond that point. So we'll. Uh, you can't change it until after we get the blue moon crystal. But we can change it freely then. So you'll you'll have your choices. This is the this is the fun part of the game where it's just like, all right, here's all the extra shit. Anyway, here's our ballroom. Oh my oh, god! Oh, uh, actually, here in Value, we'll be called the balls room. <laughs> the I knew you'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> this place is great. It's even got a kitchen. Oh, I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a couple other places you can go, but uh. I think, is this the deck? From... No, okay, we call this it the fine. dick. Fina's out on the out on the deck, but it's just a big metal deck. Oh, that's weird. This is moving. We call we call the deck the dick. <laughs> What's this? Something in here? What? Oh! Is it that what? <laughs> Long time no see, Vice. Marco, what are you doing here? I heard that the prince's ship was finished and was being prepared for departure. So I snuck on board and I was planning on escaping Valua in it. Did you know in the great, like, instead of shaking hands in Valua, it's traditional to mime jacking off? <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, I heard that the prince was a really nice guy, so I figured he wouldn't kill me for trying to escape. Well, at least not right away. But. I never would have thought that you, of all people, would get your hands on this ship. At least, now I don't have to go looking for you. I'm gonna travel along with you whether you like it or not. But don't worry, I'll stay out of your way, okay? <laughs> You're pretty pushy there, kid. Ah, why not? I'll make you my first crew member. Ah, Marco has true. joined your crew as a sailor. So man, uh, we got a really big ship with a lot of empty space. Maybe we should go around the world and fill it with NPCs. That's oh, cool. so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Gilder. Uh, Gilder. Aaron. Hey there, Vice. Sorry, you caught me in the middle. <laughs> Never mind. Have you finished? Sorry, I was doing the, the old value and handshake. I was giving the old value and salute, if you know what I mean. Have you finished looking around the ship? There's something that I need to talk to you about. I've pretty much seen everything that I wanted to. What do you want to talk to me about? Well, actually, five people is more than we can simulate in combat. Yeah, I'm gonna literally. have to bow out. I'm leaving. Gonna head back and meet up with the Claudia. Bye, Gilder. <laughs> what? No. 
I figure this is probably my only chance to escape from Clara. I don't think I'm ready to settle down just yet. Sure you are. You guys make a really cute couple. Mmm... Vice, don't even joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But seriously, we are all going to miss you. Especially Savvy. Thanks. And before I go, I have three pieces of advice for you. Don't drink, Art. don't eat, don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> First, you need to get a crew. A crew? Yes. With a ship this size, you'll need a lot of crew members to take care of the specific duties. Get a good watchman, a cook, a gunner. Just, just play Sid Meier's Pirates. You'll see what you need. I'm sure there are plenty of skilled sailors out there who will join the fight against Valua. If you run into anyone who can help you, bring them aboard. The more crew members you have, the better your ship will operate. You know, I, I'm sure you really want to optimize around ship combat. So, uh, ship, so I will say, Marco's ability in ship combat doubles the current amount of spirit points you have. It's mm. completely busted. Fucking bullshit. Second, you'll need a base. You'll need a place to repair your ship, and your crew will need warm beds and warm meals every once in a while. Your father has his own base, right? Said it was on Pirate Isle. God, it's funny we named it's, it Pirate Isle. I, I well, remembered, you... actually, between sessions, its civilian name that it's normally known by is actually called Windmill Isle. Uh, no, I see. So I guess it's just like a funny Ooh. little joke that all the pirates call it that. Said it was on Pirate Isle. Well, you'll need your own headquarters as well. What about that deserted island I found, John? I believe it's called Crescent Isle. That island looks just about right. Why you head back there? Most of all, no matter what happens, never give up. I don't know if you've realized it yet, but you've accomplished a lot so far, especially for someone your age. You've escaped from the Valuan Coliseum, crossed South Ocean, found De Cat's treasure, defeated three of the admirals of the Armada, took two of the Gigas out of commission, and escaped from the Grand Fortress twice. Man, when you lay it out like that, yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're nuts. <laughs> For some reason, everyone seems to follow you, myself included, even though you're a little crazy. Actually, it's because no matter what happens, you never give up. Anytime something stands in your way, you never let it stop you. Your crew knows that you'll always do everything in your power to protect them. I can tell by the way they all look at you. And on this bridge, with uh, this ship, uh, you're gonna sail around the world. I love Gilder. <laughs> you'll probably run into things ten times more dangerous than you've already faced. But no matter what happens, don't give up. If you follow my advice, you'll accomplish things that you've never even dreamed of. Thank you. Oh, Gilda, where are you? We took a hard left. Oh, is everything okay? No, it's Clara. Uh, sorry, Vice. Can't stay in Jen any longer. She'll catch me and it'll be all over. I love you. Go on, Vice. <laughs> I hope to see you again someday. I usually just sail around in search of fun, but the time I spent sailing with you was probably the most fun I've ever had. Keep it up, kid. Goodbye, my what weird a, uncle. <laughs> what a bro. Love him. Yeah, Gilder. love him. <clears throat> Thanks for everything, Gilder. Oh, Vice? Hey, Vice. Why did Gilder run off in such a hurry like that? Uh, um, he said that he was uh, going back to make something up, make something up. The Claudia. Fuck. Fuck. What? Well, I've got to catch him right away. He's not getting away from me that easily. Is Gilder gonna die now? No, Gilder just leaves. Well, looks like Gilder's gonna le need more luck than me. Clara's nice. Stop being mean to her. Yeah, what the mm. hell? Also, I <laughs> you'll accomplish things you'll never even have dreamed of. Like changing gender, maybe. <laughs> That's huh, crazy, just, Gilder. I yeah. That's that's crazy. That would be crazy. 
Never give up, Vice. <laughs> I can't believe it. Finally the captain of my own ship. And the Delphinus is quite a ship. Alright. Let's go! Full speed ahead to Crescent Isle! <laughs> hey, Rick, guys, join the party. Clara deserves someone who likes her? You're right. Okay. In truth, the Delphinus has not yet been completed. We're crashing, even now. <laughs> <laughs> we, you tilted left, and we're fucked. <laughs> The hull hasn't been fully reinforced yet, so it would probably be impossible to fly through stone reefs at this point. You'll need to get the waterfall HM. The engine's output settings haven't been properly adjusted yet either, so we probably won't be able to fly through sky rifts. And the ship uh, cannot turn this right. This is—he's just yeah. telling you to find. We're not an ambi turner. Oh. So, uh, how about we go get some crew members? Some uh, crembas. Some. Let's, let's land yeah. with our value and ship. Uh, Yam? <laughs> You're asking me to join your ship's crew? I only join crews when the owner of the ship is willing to pay me what my skills are really worth. Good for you, man. Everyone needs to have that attitude in this job market. Ooh. I want 10,000 gold. Give me the money and I'll come Oh, aboard. what? That's a, I can make that in two weeks at a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 gold, you say? All right, I'll pay. Good. We have a deal then. Lawrence never came to work. <laughs> Yim's, Lor deep, Lawrence, Yim's deep Lord guy voice is so high. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, we're not gonna talk to this guy. That's a Let bounty. Let me join on your crew, please, please. I want to be a pirate so bad. <laughs> this guy's a bounty fight and also super Oz coded. Uh, and. Man, he's really hard if you don't have a specific skill from Enrique. Oh, it's you. Peepo. So, you finally have your own ship, huh? Maybe it will make things easier for the both of us if I just go with you. You have no choice. Peanut joined your ship as a delegate. Hey, you, what happened to my little guy? Hey! <laughs> run, 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 run! No, faster! Oh, we're gonna recruit Daisy Duke? Oh, we're gonna recruit. So, you kids are recruiting new members for your crew. Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your cure. Uh... <laughs> Uh, actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. We'd be delighted if you'd come with us and be our cook. You're probably the best cook we know. What? You want me to be your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor that I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east, I've wanted to make ends meet by running this tavern with only my daughter, Anne. I can't suddenly just pick up and leave. Polly, Anne, I get it. Hmm. Oh, uh, yam, I think. Why Listen. not, Mother? Go ahead and go. You've always said, Mother, that you wish to have a ship that you could go and look for Father. Oh, God, help me. <laughs> 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 I don't even remember my father's face, you know. If anything, do it for me. Go find my father and bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. We can take care of things while you're away. Thank you, Anne. I will find your father and bring him home to show him what a wonderful daughter he has, I promise. Well, I guess this is it then. If you were serious about your offer, I'd be happy to join your crew. Leave the ship's galley to me. I'll cook up lots of tasty food loaded with nutrition. Polly has joined your crew as a murderer. <laughs> as a murderer? <laughs> The father, Gonzalez. I I betted an 80-year-old man. He was already <laughs> a, a skeleton, skeleton at the time. Luckily, he used the silver moon crystal. So I don't want to make this joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to call back to an awful joke error made earlier. I'm pretty sure I made the fucking semen blade joke as well, Re didn't I? Really? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. No, that one's not on me. Really? All right. I'm yeah, that was on me. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, a rare occasion, but this is like in a, it's like one of those storylines in a long running piece of media where the hero's got like an arch rival where it's there's like the one time when some super villainy goes down and it's like, it wasn't me this time. <laughs> No! Uh, let's see Enrique's super move. <laughs> His... <laughs> Luckily, he had the honeymoon crystal. <laughs> Jesus. Cute. Ha! Good joke. Ha! Wow, <laughs> bonk. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh. I'd so hope this would just be the stat. <laughs> I love Enrique, he's such a loser. <laughs> his his delivery on I wish I had enough moonberries for his next ability. I don't even in the main file yet, but it's mwah, it's it's left a scar on me that will never heal. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna fuck up about the joke. His move is he just twerks once and the shockwave kills everything. <laughs> Oh, that's God. his final smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously we have to recruit the most important crew member. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A puppy. I think this Bobby. is Will. Let's go. Uh, Vice. We wanted to ask you to do something for us. We really wish we could go with you and help out, but we're still too young, I guess. Well, that's what our parents say. So instead, we want you to take Pow with you. He'll help you out instead. Pow, Pow. I want to point out that Pow. This is like naming a dog Bark. Mm. Yeah. Pow, Pow. Pow has always been there for us. Whenever we needed someone to cheer us up, he was there. And, and we were just thinking the baby, if Pow could go with you, he could cheer you up whenever you needed it, you know? Pow. <laughs> I see. Well, the, I'm so cheered up. Well done. <laughs> Gender is a construct. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Well then, Pow, looks like you're the newest member of my crew. Did you hear that, Pow? Vice is gonna take you with him. You're gonna get to sail on that big ship with his crew. Pow will be navigator. Jester! Jester! I'm a of jester sorts? of sorts. You know. All right, so uh, let's let's load. Are some you human? Relax. Yeah, yes. I'm a jester. <laughs> I'm not relaxed. <laughs> uh, no let's sound. do. Uh, all right, I haven't even loaded yet. Give me a minute. Oh, okay, right. Second, uh, second yes. piastal fight. <laughs> this is yam. No, uh, sound. no sound. Well, no sound. I hate this so much. We're sorry. Is there sound? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You remember me? Oh, all right. That get read that again. It ate literally all of it except me. I've been waiting for you, Vice. That you remember me? <laughs> ate part of that against the Trinity. I remember you, Vice. Ooh, woo, woo, remember me. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. It, it's. Awesome. I'm Piazzo, and I'm a hunter of the air pirates. I am the angel of death. I have come to deliver death unto you. This, this, the, die! I'm, I'm gonna say this is the correct read on Piastel's character. And I'm not you call us out here and then you start spouting all this nonsense? You have problems, lady. And so we beat you once. Who cares? Just give it a little, just give it a rest already, will ya? Why are you being so persistent? You speak as if my search for you has been a recent phenomenon, a red-headed one. What the fuck? She's a loser. I don't know. What the fuck? How did you know? <laughs> These past seven years, I have been searching the world for you, looking for any trace of your passing I could find, Vice. Huh? What are you talking about? He's been a pirate for like... I Come have on. no other words for you! <laughs> Today I will take my revenge on Guard Vice!
Oh shit, she knows spit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, what man, you managed to it? you managed to use safe states to pull off. I'm gonna <laughs> attack him. And <laughs> on. Holy wow. shit! I got a new Pokemon. <laughs> that oh that couldn't have been timed better. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is it that I <laughs> finally fight the man I have been searching for all these years? Hey, okay, seriously, what are you talking about? Yeah, also, not a man. What exactly were you talking about when you said that you've been chasing us for seven years? That's a really long time, you know? She says, not a man. Vice, like, looks at her and he's, like, about to correct her, then, like, thinks and then doesn't. <laughs> Silence! You could never understand my pain! Yeah, we skipped it. Remember this, Vice. I swear that someday I will defeat you. Don't yeah. think you can escape your fate. I shall never forgive you. Yeah, we skipped it, Will, when fighting the last boss of Belsar's Wall. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? <this? laughs> oh Who's my this god, guy? I'm so sorry. Who the fuck are you? All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna load here. Go live again. So. I. God. <laughs> I don't think I've laughed that hard in such quick succession. Of time. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have sound again. No. Yeah, no, yeah, sound. no sound. Love that it's just totally inconsistent now. Yep, yeah, we got noise now. Dang, that's some good sound. Holy fuck, we've had a couple of bangers tonight. Oh, my dumb ass is about to go, whoa, what happened here? <laughs> the fucking <laughs> place blew up. Yeah, no, I... The darkness yeah, I... and silence through the night. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shot around Doc. What about ah, it? Crap. Damn it all. They called me the best gunner around. I was Kasim, the crack shot. But I let down my guard, and before I could do anything to stop them, the enemy turned the whole city to dust! Really chaps my hide! I think I will fly right over to Valua and give them a blast in the chaps! Calm down, calm down. If you do anything like that, you'll get blasted right back. It's way too reckless. I'm Vice. Yeah. <laughs> so says the man who was so reckless as to escape from Valua twice over. What? Mm. What is that? Oh, you, you are not. Oh, 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 oh. Could, it, could you be that pirate vice who abducted the Valuan prince and blasted your way out of the Grand Fortress? Yeah. Well, I am vice. I have been infected. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know about the abducted part, but otherwise, yes, I am indeed vice. What is he holding? <clears throat> it's a riding crop. In that case, you've got to do this for me, vice. Let me join your crew. I will never be satisfied until I have delivered a blow from my cannon to Valua. I must join forces with you and become your ship's gunner. Good! It is decided! Well, well, doesn't sound like you'll take no for an answer, so I suppose we might as well have you come aboard. It, 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 <laughs> obviously, Damn. it makes sense for him to be Gunner, but it's just like, he is joined as cartographer. Like, well, yeah. that would be very funny. <laughs> we also got his two guys, by the way. They don't pull attention to it, but all three of them are crew members. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Nazrad's fucked. Oh. The, wow. the bazaar is totally gone. Aww. It's pretty bizarre. Shut. How bizarre. How bizarre. I love if you could walk over to the palace and the king's still sitting there. You can just walk up and go. And <laughs> I uh, love that guy. He was like, ha! no, actually, uh, God, is it this guy? They've got some bummer dialogue. 
Man, I cannot believe it. How could Nazareth have been reduced to this? The people who used to come here have either died or left town, and there's almost no one left. Perhaps there's nothing left to do but to close up shop. No, there's, mm. I don't know where he is, but there's some guy who's just like, yeah, I heard they captured the Sultan and his family and executed them in value uh, in front of a crowd. <laughs> Whoa. <Hey>. Fucking hell. <gasps> Oh, oh, my shop! My shop is gone! It's all too much to bear. My shop is nothing more than a heap of rubble, and my clerk ran off with all the money. She has a cat on I, her head. I am completely ruined. I feel kind of sorry for her. You know, Vice, maybe we should take her with us on our ship. Ship? You own a ship? How big is it? How much cargo can it hold? How much money do you make transporting goods? <laughs> you may not look like much, but you seem to be doing well for yourself. Okay, I've decided. I will go with you on your ship. It sounds like I can make some money. Uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> you can't just decide that all by yourself. Oh, I'm an excellent trader. I can help you find treasures that would normally be almost impossible to find. She's an excellent trader. Get her. <laughs> That's right. It's the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, crew members do have mechanical effects. Um... Some of them are passive effects because uh, there's two of each type. So there's like two gunners, two jesters, two sailors. Uh, equipping them gives passive effects sometimes like your ship is better at avoiding magical damage or physical damage from cannons. Uh, mm -hmm. Then things like uh, Osman, I believe if you have her in your party, certain boss fights drop special unique items. Uh, oh. st stuff like that. It's, it's nothing huge, but uh, there is stuff. It adds flavor. It it honestly feels to me like a mechanic that, like, Aaron would just randomly be like, yeah, I just did, like, a whole fucking thing for you guys to play around with yeah, in my if, game. Yeah, if Adventure 7 came two adventures later. <laughs> <laughs> or Adventure 8. Adventure! So why don't we uh, head back to our future, our future base? Oh, uh, Ika should have a new... No, she, has, oh, she still doesn't have it. Okay, she's got it in the main file. Whatever, Lambdaverse should be enough. Lambdaverse! Nope. That's okay. Look out! It's Scorpions! Oh my god, we are fucked. Scorpion killer. A legendary blade. <laughs> okay. We going. Oh my god. Oh my god! Mario, you must pick. You must pick. Either the gay pipe, the gum pipe, or the peace pipe. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's a... All right, you don't know that one. Is, that what they, is, is those the choices they give you at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Crescent Isle? To the right. Starboard. Nope! Ah! Defeated. Give me that Pyrez box. Give me that Pyrez. Oh, did it break? Oops, whatever. Pyrez box is fine. I'm just trying to blow through this shit, because. Because. Dead. God. <laughs> I just looked at the chat again to see the fucking Ica biting a pillow. Just... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be the tall one. Savvy, you be the short one. Okay. Actually, you know what? Will, I think, be the short one. It's more appropriate. Oh, hmm. okay. Feist, this is pretty amazing, huh? Oh, poor Enrique. Hey, Enrique. How does it feel to be outside the Imperial Palace? Oh. oh. Oh, uh, everything is so, so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it before. Looks like someone is a little airsick. Perhaps all of this traveling is a little rough for our sheltered prince. Yes, uh, I can hear you. <laughs> you are right. I never, I never realized sailing could be so, so rough. But this was my decision. 
I came with a little air sick to me. No! Enrique, are you going to be alright? Well, well, I'm oh. nice. Well, I'm sorry. Looks like this is going to be a long trip for Enrique. Yeah, don't worry, Enrique. Once you get used to sailing, you won't get this sick. You won't get sick as easy. Uh, I'm sure you'll be okay. Hey, took you guys I'm long enough. Old man. <laughs> yep, it took you guys long enough to get here. Uh, hey, hey, it's good to meet you. You're a vice, right? Gilda told us that you needed a crew. We're here to report for duty. <laughs> I'm problem. If anything's broke, I can fix it. I'm the greatest engineer that ever lived. That's a nice looking ship. If you want, I can get it running smoother than ever. Crank it up a few notches, give it more power. Bum bum! I'm Ismail. Uh, you want something built? I build it. You don't want something built? I build it anyways. <laughs> oh, sorry. You need some buildings? I'll give you some buildings. I didn't mean. To I built shit. Uh, uh, sure. Thank you. Leave it up to us. But before we get started, we need some funds to cover expenses and labor. First, I'll fortify the hull of your ship so you'll be able to pass through stone reefs. Then I'll upgrade your engine. So. <laughs> You'll be powering through Skyloops in no time, but it'll cost you 25,000 oh. gold. Fucking nutcracker ass head. <laughs> I plan to build you a port and some living quarters first. Let's see, cha ching I'll need about 75,000 gold! What a bargain! <laughs> what? So altogether we'll need to give you 100,000 gold? Fuck. Ugh. Well, the Delphinus does need some modifications, and we're going to need more than a couple of caves to call this a base. Enrique's right. Let's put off our search for the other moon crystals until we can get a hundred thousand gold to pay these, uh, gentlemen. For the record, I have never not had a hundred thousand gold right away, so this is not a huge obstacle. But it is enough to clean you out about 80%. <clears throat> Yippee! Now I can fortify the hull of the Delphinus for you! It'll be going through stone reefs and sky lifts in no time. God, I wish I had teeth. I'll need 75,000 gold to start building your headquarters. <clears throat> Thanks. I'll need 75,000 to actually spend now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This will be the best investment of your life. Oh, I wish this base wasn't so secret. I want everyone to see how great it's going to be. The new Hall of Delphinus will be done by tomorrow morning. Then you'll be able to go after those crystals. I'm counting on you, Ismail. Vice, I'm so excited. We're going to have our own base and the Delphinus will be able to go just about anywhere. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. We were talking about making a new flag, right? Hey, Aloha, could you run polls live in this chat? If everyone is finished, we can decide on one. I'm Enrique. I've forgotten all about that. All right, Vice, you first. What, me first? Uh, well, put a lot of thought into this. Don't laugh, people. This is what I drew, <laughs> being air pirates and all. I was thinking for a long time if I should put some pink stripes on the top and bottom, but no, I, no, not yet. Figured we maybe should. Maybe more in the middle. Uh, yeah, maybe like if I were to split it into fifths, maybe like second and fourth. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. I figured we should at least have a skull on the flag, and since most pirates use swords, I figured we would have one of those on the flag too. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I looked away for just a moment. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, Aika, you're next. I figured the skull thing was overdone, so I tried to go with something quick and cunning. That's why I drew the cat. Oh. I drew some gold to show people that we'd sneak up on them and steal their gold before they knew what happened. <laughs> Aika, that cat looks just like you. Well, I had to give the cat some personality. Do you think I got a little carried away? I was also thinking of like maybe some purples, maybe like an orange. <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying stuff. 
way too carried away. <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up, fight. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> All right, Fina, it's your turn. Um, well, I felt that skulls were a little too scary, so I wanted to make something happier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always pick Fina's flag. Oh my it's god, yeah, Joel. <laughs> it's straight it's off of... It's straight off a pamphlet at SeaWorld. It's cute as hell. <laughs> the word delphinus refers to an ancient creature that lived in the seas. I drew one of them to show everyone what our ship was named after. There's no reason to be embarrassed, Fina. I don't think there's ever been an air pirate flag that looked like this. I like it. Well, that's all of them. I also want to throw out there maybe the Valuan flag? No. Nope. All right. Oh, fair. okay. Chat's going fucking wild for the dolphin flag. Vice, you're the captain. Which one do you like? Uh, we can do an official poll later. I had to go on just neutrally anyway with the save file, and we can change it later on. But I think I like Fina's flag. It's very original, and people will remember the name of our ship. It doesn't exactly strike fear into the hearts of anyone, but it shows our good intentions. Oh, I, I think we know what's going to happen based yeah. on the voting so far. <laughs> yeah, Jack, oh, please keep voting. Your vote does matter. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I'm so glad. When I first drew it, I thought it might be a little strange. Well then, I'll hang one up on the bridge too. Oh, it's starting to get late. I'm starting to get hungry too. God, I somehow, my eye scan does, I'm starting to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what? If only I had the power. <laughs> hey everyone, dinner's ready. Vice is pregnant. <laughs> oh, we're gonna what? eat the baby. <laughs> well, oh. looks like we're leaving right now. <laughs> looks like we're spending the night at our new headquarters, Crescent Isle. I mean, I'm curious. I can't believe I... we burned up Brabham. <laughs> I can't believe those fuckers stole our ship. I can't believe Brabham <laughs> was really the resurrected form of Gonzalez. I can't believe <laughs> Brabham was Beleza in disguise. <laughs> well, the improvements to our ship are almost finished, and pretty soon we'll have an actual base on this island. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They all just do that for like a minute. <laughs> they all yeah. Just go, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But I hope this time I won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get over that. You say, yeah, weird value in. <laughs> they are really mean to Enrique, actually. He doesn't deserve it at all. Oh, Fina, there's something that I wanted to ask you. Um, that Admiral, uh, oh, what was his name? Ramirez? How do you know him? What? When we met him in Nazrad, you seemed to know an awful lot about him. If you don't feel like telling me, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, it's okay. I'm not written by Shu Takumi. No, I'm sorry. I should have told all of you about him sooner. I'll tell you everything I know about Ramirez. You know that I'm a Silvite, a descendant of the Silver Civilization. What? Ramir Ramirez is a Silvite as well. What? Oh, okay, you beat me to it. Ramirez Dolphin was wins, our, unsurprisingly. Was our best warrior. He can channel the power of the Silver Moon through his blade. We can all do that. sharp enough to cut through light. We can all do that. <laughs> He can channel the power of the silver moon through his blade, and you know what silver blades are elemented with in this eh. world. Galcian, you seem like a great recruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn! Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> we grew up together a long time ago. He was one of my best friends. He didn't used to be so, so heartless and cruel. He used to care for me like a little sister. When we heard that the Valuans were trying to reawaken the Gigas, Ramirez volunteered to come down here to stop them. He went on a journey to search for the crystals, alone. Shortly after he started his quest, we lost track of him. We never even dreamed that he would join forces with the Valuan Empire. 
Those were the people that he was sent here to stop. That's an interesting. You don't you don't often see the like member of the ancient progenitor race that keeps the world's secrets just being like, no, nah, I'm just gonna join Nazi Germany, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why he changed. Imperial Spain. Ramirez got red pilled by Gaussian. That's like honestly pretty accurate. <laughs> Dudes rock. Dudes I... do rock. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that the Ramirez I knew wasn't gone forever. Enrique. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, Ica turned her head, and so I assumed it was going to be her line next. Admiral Ramirez. Not only is he one of Valua's greatest swordsmen, but he is also a master strategist. He used to be Galcian's vice captain, but I don't even think Galcian knows Ramirez's past. Why do they need Fina if they have Ramirez? That's a good point that I actually don't think gets addressed. I think the implication is that Ramirez went down with less information and didn't really know where the Moonstones were. And he's like a warrior, whereas Fina's like a scholar. And they were like, go down there and like check things out and stop shit. And then when he didn't come back, they were like, well shit. Let's study up a little more and send Fina down there afterwards. Mm. That's me being generous, though. They don't bring it up, to my recollection. I mean, that makes sense. They do. There is one moment in the game where Ramirez is like, did you forget I'm also a Sylvite? And it's like, oh, yeah, that actually makes total sense. So they don't forget it altogether. Fina. Fina. I'm sure we'll find out what happened to Ramirez. Good one, Vice. What's important now <laughs> is to keep pushing forward. Don't ever forget that. Don't come back, General. <laughs> General Shakespeare. Don't give up, Fina. You aren't alone. We're here with you now. Yeah, Fina. You're one of our friends now. I've only known you for a short while, but I too consider you my friend. Vice, Ica, Enrique. When I came here, I was all alone. Now I have so many wonderful friends. Thank you so much. Thank you all. I... I'll do my best. Vice, Ica, Enrique, Vigoro... The camera pans over. He's just it's me, party. your best friend, Vigoro! Stop! Vice, Ica just leans over and puts his face in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so tomorrow we continue our search for the rest of the moon crystals. We'll start early. Oh, Enrique, are you sure you can get up on time without a servant to wake you up? Her fucking face. Mm. Her mm. fucking face. Oh, I love that face. You can't say mean things to me. Mm. Why? You're a hostage. What? No, wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it can't be. Sorry, I, uh, there's a little button on the side of my mouse that does page back, so I had to re-get to a certain oh. page. Hey, I always get up on my own. I don't need any servants. <laughs> Guys, he fully saved your ass. Be nice to him. Ha <laughs> Our ship. <laughs> <clears throat> Rules of nature. Well, it's time. Fina, where should we head next? In the east, there's a land that basks in the light of the blue moon. That land is known as Yafutoma. They harness the powers of the blue moon and have control over wind and water. Their culture is very different from yours. Oh, they harness the power of the blue moon? So they're completely fucking useless then. <laughs> Yafutoma. Yafutoma. You've heard of it, Enrique? Yes. According to Valuan historians, Yafutoma is a country far east of Nasir. It is scattered along uh, across several small islands. I remember the stories. The people are protected by scales, and they eat by manipulating two sticks to pick up their food. They eat with sticks? And are protected by scales? Time for everyone's favorite art style. <laughs> How oh. are you supposed to eat with two sticks? And what do you mean scales? Oh my, are they monsters? Um, somehow I don't think it's what you're imagining, Ika. I wonder what these strange wind and water people look like. I still can't imagine eating with two sticks. I was hoping that we'd get to eat all kinds of exotic food on our trip. This has me a little worried. 
To get to Yafutoma, we should sail around the southern tip of Nasir. Some time ago, during the Valuan Nasir War, a cape was discovered by invading Valuan forces south of Nasir. That cape was named Cape Victory. There is a city there called Esperanza. If anyone knows how to get to Yafutoma, it would be the people there. All right, so we're heading south of Nasir. All right again, everyone to their stations. Let's go. Does the map expand again? It does, yeah, once you get nice. there. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh, let me, we're almost done. Um, just a couple more cutscenes and one or two things I want to show off so I don't have to save, like keep these old save files. We've been going a long time. I think you can see why I didn't want to skip any of the dungeons that like we saw today. Cause I think they're yeah. cool as hell. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do, let's do this. This is probably gonna um, kill sound for a second. Load state. It says Horteca entrance, am I crazy? Yep, no sound. Perfect. Just wanted to grab a couple oh. more crewmates. There we go. We're good. Yeah, we got that noise. Oh, this is actually the noise not. from Pizza Tower. Oh, oh, do we get to recruit the uh, the perverts to be a part of our crew? No. <laughs> no, he can die. <laughs> Come on, I'm a jester. keep going the wrong way. It's hard to get around here. You actually can recruit um, one of San Team's kids, but not until you get back from Yafutoma. Mm -hmm. I think it's, is it this way? God, this place is so hard to navigate. There's so much Snake Eater going on. Snake Eater. Snake Eater. Yes, okay. I actually didn't show you guys this little sub area. <laughs> the darkness and silence through the night. You have a nice ship. Have you flown around here a lot? Do you know that this guy's thing is that he can see really far and he can like point out discoveries before you see them. Do you know this area well? Have you seen a ship with all women sailors? Yeah, I have. I love it. <laughs> Sometimes I see them flying nearby. They are very different from the women here. Even with my eyes, I cannot always see where they go. I am very curious about them. Women only. Maybe you're talking about the village of Ixaness. Yes, yes, that must be it. So there really is a village of only women. I have been searching for it for many years. I wish to join them. Oh, you're so powerful. <laughs> yeah, I wish to, oh. <laughs> Will you join my crew? <laughs> you are the best sailor I know. I feel a strange kinship with you. Take me with you on your ship. I want to travel with you. Really? You'll join the crew of my ship? That's right, I'll join your crew. I've been looking for someone who could make good use of my incredible eyes. With my eyes, you can see the enemy from far away. Other things, too, as clear as day. This will be very I useful to you. Sorry, I didn't mean to rhyme. I have special eyes. Look, look with my special eyes. Stika Tika. Baba Booey. Stika Tika is the, uh, what's the civilization called again? Uh, Ixataka. Ixataka. Is Stika Tika, as you were going down the ladder, <laughs> that's the Ixatakan for Snake Eater, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Correct. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, pole. Yeah. It's not quite a ladder, but it functions Oh the my same. god. Damn, Damn that's a that hard off. fucking climb. Your hands <laughs> must be red, raw, and full of splinters after that shit. Here be you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Savvy, okay. this one can be you. That is a very powerful ship you have. One day, I will board a ship. I look for comrades to help me get revenge on Valua. I wrote a letter to Ketcha and sent it into the sky. I asked Ketcha to please send me strong warriors to end aid my cause. Hey, do you guys remember that bottle we found on the lighthouse in Sailor's Island? <laughs> ah. Could this be the letter by any chance? I picked it up in the ocean. That is the letter I wrote to Ketcha. I sent it looking for help. Ketcha surely sent you to me. You must be the warriors that I am looking for. Please, take me with you. I want to fight against Valua. I... I may not be strong, but I can dance. My dancing will, fi will fill everyone's spirits? I think it was it will lift. lift them. 
Listen, you got steep competition. You're a jester with Pal. Pal's is better. No one if loves I remember. Pal. Pal's is a lot better, if I remember correctly. You don't use her. And this guy's like, I'm sad she left, but I'm really happy she's following her dreams. <laughs> okay, uh, load state again. Let's do tikka tikka tikka. Frontierlands. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 No sound. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you a funny. Oh. Uh this is something I actually discovered this run. I didn't know you could do this. So this is the next town we're going to. Yeah. Zesperanza. But we've gained the ability to go through sky rifts and sky reefs again. We can't go through uh, that huge one on the left that's black. Sure. Um, let me make absolutely sure. I think I was probably smart enough to do this beforehand, but you never know. White map, hell yeah. So, say you just go explore this way. Uh, I went south, I need to go west. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> this isn't our real file, it doesn't matter. So, say you're fucking around and you're like, what's over here? Ice cubes. Big is, ice? It, is it the uh, the penguin level from Super Mario 64? So, you sure can just go to the purple world now, out of order. Oh, wow. uh, oh. A frozen continent sleeping quietly under the light of the purple moon. Ancient legends and myths speak of it as a land of the dead, but its true nature remained unknown until its discovery by Vice, the blue rogue. This is the only land that you genuinely discover and doesn't already have people living on it. Oh, uh, that's cool. And uh, so hypothetically, the enemies here are actually really strong, obviously. Um, ah, even the penguins are purple. They're fucking purple bitches. They're really, they're a lot. Oh my god. I think you, everyone just, I think it's smarter just to actually use Pyrum instead of fiery. Everyone just fire attacks. <clears throat> And they, they outspeed me for obvious reasons. Oh, man. How fucking dare you? Mm. I'll kill you. And I have. I want to see if I can find it. Oh, that's a boss fight. Um, Where is it? the aurora that's not what i'm looking for there's an aurora we'll look at that later there it is uh-oh it's under the ice oh so we can't actually oh. go there yet oh if only we had some ability to uh maybe transcend altitude to higher and lower parts of the map and unlock two new world maps uh, anyway, we won't be doing that for now. <laughs> so, uh... Anyways, that shit ain't happening. Anyway, that wasn't real. Sound acquired. So let's go to Esperanza, which I love the aesthetics of. This is a value in colony. Hmm. Skyrift looks worse than any of the others. If we tried to power our way through it, I think the Delphinus would get ripped to shreds. Yeah, but if we don't go through there, we won't be able to reach Yafutoma. Isn't there something we can do? Enrique, are you feeling any better? Oh. No! Not by the way. To be completely honest, I feel why don't you guys take a look around the city? I don't think it would be wise for me to move in my kitty. <laughs> I'll stay here and look after Enrique. All she right. looks so rough. Ika, uh, let's go check out the city. Someone here has to know how to get to Yafutoma. I know vocally I'm playing it more like being drunk than being parsic, but like, this is funnier to me. Yeah. Is that sad, pow? This is actually the second sad pow. There's one in lower value as well. No! No, no, 
no. 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 Oh, oh no. Him. Take Ooh. him with you. So, um, the Esperanza's gimmick, which Esperanza means hope in, in uh, Spanish, by the way. Esperanza's gimmick is during the value uh, value and Nasir War, they discovered this cape in the southern reaches of the country and thought, oh, if we can find a way to get through this sky rift, there's probably like more land. So we're going to need a launching port. So a bunch of people invested in it. And then they all came there, and the storm is so strong that it rips ships apart and throws them back into the city and blows them up. So the oh. city is made of derelict boats, and everybody here is fucking miserable. They all hate it. Oh, Jesus. man. There, it's like, it, it's very, this is something I would critique Skies of Arcadia for, actually. I think it has good world building, but like, in a way where... Every character kind of talks like a GM is trying to get across the like the cons the idea of an area in a way people don't really talk. So right. they'll be like, "I'm so fucking sad," even though like the bad thing happened like 40 years ago, but they want to tell the player about it. So everyone here is just like, "I've been living in a gully for 50 years. There's no hope in the town named Hope. Do you get like it?" Like how, uh, like how in like Fallout Three and Four, there's it's like, "Oh well, it's been many decades yes. since we were able to reaccess, and still we haven't bothered rebuilding everything. We're just living in ruins, mm -hmm. as if the apocalypse happened a week ago." Yeah. Womp womp. I Esperanza actually has <laughs> my favorite town theme in the game. Also. I just clocked. Is that why Esperanto is called Esperanto? Uh, Esperanto, both in its actual language and I think its name, is a fusion of a bunch of different languages, so maybe. Might be part of it. Uh, Yam, you're gonna play the main guy we're about to talk to. Okay. Okay. Is it this guy? It is this guy. He's a he's a miserable drunk. Not from around here, are you? Actually, we just came into town, and we were wondering if someone here could help us. So you came to me. Well, that's just great. Either way, the name is John. Now ask me your question, and be on your way. You know that sky rift to the east? How do you get through it? <laughs> So, you're looking for a way to cross the Dark Rift, eh? Oh. Yeah, we- Beat them to oh. death. Yeah, both of us know about it too, but we'll let him talk. <laughs> <laughs> so the world is still full of fools. V? What? Are you kids serious? You're trying to cross the Dark Rift. They don't stand a chance. Someone better tell their parents where they are. Kid, that's no ordinary Sky Rift. This is empty. <laughs> Fuck. During the war, this cape was discovered and this city was built. This place is the is the edge of the world. If you try to go any further east, you'll be killed. Hundreds of men, good men, have died trying. But there's always a few fools that don't need heed the warnings. The Dark Rift usually claims them. Some of the best sailors from all over the world tried to cross the Dark Rift. They came from everywhere. And they all made it. Good for them! <laughs> These bitches gay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. One noticing. by one, they tried to pass through the dark rift. All of them failed! Can't get through it if you're cis! If only some trans <laughs> captain will go through there! But when's the last time you saw a trans captain on the ocean? Voice starts sweating. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> The ships that enter the Dark Rift are either pushed away by the winds, or they get sucked in, never to return. 
My crew and I lost our ship. We were lucky to survive. After a while, sailors stopped coming. All we do is sit around here and wait to die. Just, just leave. You can do something else. Some things are just impossible, kid. Why don't you just go back to wherever you came from and have your mommy tell you bedtime stories? I assume she's alive. What's wrong with you people? You've thrown your lives away. Don't you care about anything? Vice, let's go. We're just wasting our time here. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about the Dark Rift. Before I go, I just wanted to say that I've never met a more pitiful bunch in my life. If you lose sight of one dream, replace it with another. Think about how much time you could... Th think! Th th I'm nailing it. I can I try again? That's fine, kid. Think about how much you could have accomplished in the time that you've spent here. Just because you couldn't get across the dark rift. Are you, gonna, are you just gonna sit here for the rest of your life? I'm really butchering this. Because you tried something once and failed, are you just going to throw the rest of your life away? There's a whole world out there to see. Don't you have any desire to sail again? <laughs> the good men lost their lives, but did a woman try? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I hope you were killing someone in here. I want to play. Vina, what is <laughs> I it? I want to play. Guys, I gotta come to the port quickly. The Armada is coming. Enrique what? threw up, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> no. What are they doing here? I go. Let's move. We should hurry back to the port. Oh, he just got it. All right. Whoa! Here I go. So it's kind of hard to hit. The I missed the turn. Hey, man. Ah, oh, Vice, you're back. Oh, wait, I'm not airsick anymore. You need to see this, I say seriously, with my proper demeanor. <laughs> I believe it's... this one was savvy. Those ships look like swamps. If this is the old guy, then yeah. Yes. It's the last Admiral. <clears throat> that huge armored ship belongs to Admiral Gregorio. Gregorio is the best defensive tactician the Valuan Armada has ever seen. They even nicknamed him Iron Wall. Interesting. He's forming a blockade around town, which I don't know how you'd do in a three-dimensional space. Prince Enrique! I've come on behalf of you and I've got a little message for you. I see. Well done. <laughs> oh. It's toilet paper for now. my <laughs> royal dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my prince finds himself in good health. Bad start. I heard that you had a change of heart, or were perhaps brainwashed by the air pirates. Empress Theodora has sent me to escort my prince back to Valua, so that he may recover. If my prince refuses to comply, my ships will regrettably begin firing upon the city tomorrow at noon. Your humble servant, Gregorio. Hmm. Uncle Gregorio is asking me to surrender. Uncle? Hmm. Oh, Gregorio was an armada in the Admiral. <laughs> Still a little air sick, huh, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Gregorio. <laughs> Gregorio. Yeah. No, give me another you chance, can, coach. Can, uh, Put me back in. <laughs> you can throw up again. I won't scream this oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> She's, she's never seen. I all right. Internalize this. The idea of s never seeing a person throw up is so funny. Once you know what Fina's home looks like and how they get around. All right, what? noted. He helped me. Jesus, he helped raise me when I was growing up. He's always been like an uncle to me. I know that. Wow. I know he really doesn't really want to fight, and he really does want me to really surrender. <laughs> he is I, just like rubbing his back. But I really can't go back. I really Not, can't go back. Fina, Fina cast Curia. Holy shit. <laughs> Not after everything they've done. 
even if like Gregorius on his ship, just like uh, we're probably we'll probably need to give him at least half an hour if he's been <laughs> just sailing. <laughs> even if it means I really have to fight, <laughs> Enrique. Let's rest up for tomorrow. Gregorio is the most honorable man that I've ever met. He won't break his word. Really. Okay. I understand. You know a lot about breaking words. We should rest on land I'm, tonight. Look, I'm <laughs> trying, man. I'm, I'm trying so hard. I gave you a ship worth billions. No, you're... We're so mean to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'd pat you on the back, but I'm afraid I'll miss and my hand will rebound off like a trampoline if I go too far south. I understand. We should rest on land tonight and keep you off the ship until tomorrow. He tries to pat him on the back, just slaps him on the ass. The last thing you need is for your uncle to see you throwing up over the railing in the heat of battle. Great. Now you're really starting to sound just like Ica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's stay at the end tonight. We're gonna need our. We're gonna need. Oh, it's contagious. You, it's spreading. <laughs> you, you say you're sorry, but are you really sorry? <laughs> Man, I I fucked up like five consecutive lines. <laughs> We've all been there. It's time to fight Ed Admiral. We're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Sorry, I, sorry. I, I am a huh? You're planning to fight Admiral Gregorio by yourselves? Yep, that's the plan. I don't doubt your abilities, but I used to be a value and soldier. I know what the, uh, the, 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 the help. I gotta throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like vomits in the bottle. All right. You I guys need talking. to stop eating word salad. It makes you so <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> you guys need to stop eating worms. <laughs> what? Going up against one of their admirals is crazy. Really? really? It's crazy. so complicated. It's so <laughs> complicated. <laughs> All right. It's 5 p.m. and we're slap happy, except for Yam yeah, and Savvy where it's night. <laughs> Our ship is the best there is. We're faster than Gregorio's ship, and I think we can match his firepower. But even if you win, you'll never get through the Dark Rift. Well, thanks for the pep talk, Waluigi. Like I said yesterday, our ship is the best there is. Our engines are more powerful than you think. Enrique turns away from him. Maybe you should try getting through my Dark Rift. <laughs> And it enough! Might... That's the last one! <laughs> and Enrique's ass might just be powerful enough to get us through the dark rift. What did I say? I, it, my, my mouth was open. I was grandfather claused in before you said it. Ever since I was a kid. I've all, do you remember that I'm vice? Did you forget the thing that I say? I've always wanted to see what was beyond the edge of the uh, edge of the world. Oh my god, Enrique, please. It's happening! That very edge is right in front of me. I have a chance to do what nobody has ever done before. I have a chance to make history today. If I said that I'm not scared, I'd be lying. But I won't let this opportunity pass me by. The chance to fulfill my childhood dream lies right in front of me. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? I mean, like, one of your dreams, right? <laughs> I suppose that no matter what I say, you're not gonna listen. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yam, Yam's on strike. <laughs> I didn't do that. I should make that clear. The Dark Rift is a giant vortex. <laughs> if you can get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It is rumored that the eye is calm. There are other calm pockets along the edges of the Dark Rift. If you find one of the pockets, you might have half a chance. Uh-huh. I see. Thank you. I'll come back here when I'm done. That's what people say when I dare them to try to remove my pants. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, guys? I thought I thought we'd be done by now, but we're we're beefing every single line. So, yeah, it's here. It's here right now. <laughs> my orders were to bring him back alive or kill him if he refuses. We must do everything in our power to take him alive. Gregorio's the good one. All ships, prepare to attack. The Delphinus is the Armada's most powerful ship. Our adversaries may be young, but we can't enter it. 
Why is the water's getting ready to attack us? This is it. We're all throwing up. I need to throw up. Everyone, man your battle stations. This is real rough. We gotta get past Admiral Gregorio's defenses. We will defeat him, then we'll get through the Dark Rift and reach Yafutoma. Yep. Aye, aye. You know what? We're running pretty dangerously close to the next thing that I gotta stream, so you have to do three ship battles in a row here. Yuck. Oh, there what? is okay. no sound. Is it just okay. like generic ship one? Yes. Oh, hang on. Discord's freezing. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Discord. Come on, Discord. Come on. My friends are dying. They have no idea what's going on. Goes. There oh, we go. There he is. Sorry, Discord crashed. Um, oh, okay. So you, so stream is fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. This is the guy leading up to the actual Gregorio fight. We blow them up. And we have sound. All right, we're doing great. Gregorio's ship's dead ahead. He'll be in range shortly. Uncle Gregorio. I can't ah! let you take me back! Yes. Yep. We're doing this. Uh, Gregorio has an interesting mechanic where he fucking rams you. He just rams you like Reinhardt, and you have to use a speed up before you get hit to dodge him. Oh, that's cool. Prince Enrique, please forgive me for taking up arms against you, but you leave me no choice. I will not allow you to escape. You will not get past the Auriga. Past the Auriga. Uh, I will also say Gregorio is the first fight where uh, one single shot from your super cannon is not enough to kill him. He has a mm. lot of HP. Ooh, almost saved instead of loading. Yuck. Um, yeah. hmm. Moonstone cannon fire. No sound. No sound. We're sorry. Here we we have sound. It's an ugly ship. I think it looks pretty fucking cool. Shut up. Hmm. I always thought that if we were ever in battle together, that we'd be on the same side. Prince Enrique, is there anything I can do to make you reconsider? No. I've made up my mind. I am not going back to Valua. I know that you've noticed a change in the Empire as well. They are headed down a dark path, trying to rule the world with an iron fist. It will be Valua's downfall. This world, this sky, is not Valua's to rule. It belongs to the people. Hmm. And to right the wrongs that Valua has committed, I've decided to travel with Vice and his companions. Tell that to my mother, and also that I pray every day for her good health. This is goodbye. I must go. Be well. Farewell, young prince. Oh, what a bro. Gregorio is good. <clears throat> every bad guy group needs the good one. They get like one and a half. Beleza's not. Beleza's too bad. all right too. Yeah. Yay! Oh, Jade! Oh my God! We oh. just lost 50% of our ass. Oh, you did? There's a funny moment in the middle of those cutscene fights where uh, they, the Valuans blow up the that wall behind these guys and everyone runs as rocks tumble. Don's in front and he's like, I'm not moving. I'm a old sailor. And he like wa talks anime-ish at them and then a rock hits him on the head and he gets knocked out. <laughs> mm Come with me. Come with me. Uh, we're about to end, but I will preview one thing before uh, the start of the next whatever the fuck. Uh, where's the entrance to the Dark Rift? It's over here. There it is. Shut the hell up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> so, I'm not I'm, laughing. So <laughs> there's nothing funny about. Whoa, what hey, the fuck. Uh, did you consider that this game would have ship dungeons? 
Oh no! Oh! Oh no! And uh, that's where we're gonna stop. <laughs> Funky. Woo! Ship dungeon. <laughs> hey. Dungeons. All right, they goodbye. Found a vortex oh. and uh, so they found a vortex and threw the fucking forest temple in it. Uh, oh yeah, I was about to say goodbye, but actually in 10 minutes, sorry Aloha, whose entire evening I have eaten now, because he had to be on call for this one. Uh, if you want to join us for One Piece talk, you, you there's more pirates to be had. Uh, everyone who's a $5 supporter or higher on the Patreon gets access to the secret stream. That's in, like, Ooh. ten minutes. Come and get it. Come and get it! End stream! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! Bye! Bye.